Well, our special extended coverage of Winter Storm Orlena continues. And after blanketing the Midwest with a bunch of snow, this major winter storm is now poised to batter the East Coast. And we're talking more heavy snow and strong winds. Welcome to our special edition and extended live coverage of Winter Storm Orlena. I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. So Orlena bringing the nation's capital its first true taste of winter. In fact, the mayor declaring a snow emergency, and that goes all the way through Tuesday. And that is where we find reporter Justin Michaels. And Justin could be talking over six to eight inches there in D.C. before this is all said and done. Certainly way more than we've seen this winter and way more than we saw all of last winter. It's amazing, actually, talking about some stats here related to Orlena. When you're talking about the DMV, Washington, D.C. in general, you're talking about more than two years since the last time they saw three inches of snow in any storm and almost two years since the last one-inch snowstorm. Believe it or not, 2019, February of 2019, the last time they got an inch of snow. So it's exciting that they have about an inch and a half here right now. Could we see that six inches? It's certainly possible. But to give you an idea of where we are, a beautiful, iconic shot of the National Cathedral here on Wisconsin Avenue. We wanted to stay away from all that mess downtown, the mall and the Capitol, and give you something beautiful on a Sunday here in Washington, D.C. Absolutely stunning to be here. Of course, this is the place presidents come and they, uh, they attend services here, but they're also, this is where their funerals are for many presidents and also John McCain and so many other people. So this is an iconic part of Americana and we're going to be live here for you throughout the afternoon talking about uh, the beautiful snow, Jordan, that's falling right now. But Jordan, as you well know, and we're going to be talking about this snow for the next couple days. Yeah. I know. Uh, this is going to be a very busy scene over the next few days. Justin, thank you so much for that live outlook. And just picture the big old cathedral there with a ton of snow at the base of it. I know we have a little bit right now, but it is about to get rocking and rolling. If you take a look right here, we got the winter storm watches, the winter storm warnings. There's advisories all in there. And this is painting a picture of what could be a couple of days of some very, very busy and uh, could be whiteout conditions for a lot of you. If you look at the bullseye, where is it headed? For from D.C. up through Baltimore, New York City, and up into Boston. We're talking about feet of snow, Alex. And uh, like Justin was just talking about, this is going to be a couple of days here of the snow continuing on. But what do we know right now? Let's get to it here. What we know with Winter Storm Orlena, 62 million people under winter storm warnings with those warnings stretching from the Midwest into the Northeast and the Maryland Department of Transportation. where They're deploying 370,000 tons of rock salt to treat the roads. New York City could see its biggest snowstorm in more than five years with over a foot of snow possible. That would be the biggest snowstorm since winter storm Jonas. That was back in 2016. So yeah, this, this, this system certainly means business. And Jordan, you've got a bit more on how this is all expected to play out. Yeah, I mean, for some of us, right, we haven't had to use the snowblower at all, all season, because we've been right on that border between snow and rain, and we've just been getting rain. And now we're finally able to see some of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on out the door right now, and look how massive of a system this is okay all the way from Chicago in fact farther west from Chicago in fact on the west side of uh, Illinois closer to Iowa all the way to New York City I mean we're talking about thousand plus miles here of territory where um, we're still getting snowfall I know Chicago you're one of those locations that picked up between six to ten inches right in the Windy City itself and it's still snowing now give it a couple of hours and all this will push out but as you can see flakes are still flying just showing you some of the um, the storm reports we have right now you you can see we've got some of the lighter side on that western side of the system. Madison right at five inches. Change the color here for you. Sheboygan Falls at seven inches. Elmwood, Elmwood Park right there at the 10-inch mark. And there are a couple locations that have surpassed the magic 12-inch mark. So you're looking at a foot in some of these spots. I think as we get closer to really seeing this storm system get going in places like Philadelphia and New York, now you're going to be looking at storm totals of closer to a foot or more, especially by the time this thing is all said and done, right? This is a multi-day event. Uh, we're still seeing flurries kind of border I-80 up closer to Toledo on the other side of the International Border border. Um, we're seeing some of that, but most of it is down to the south, as you can see, um, of, of the uh, the Great Lakes, especially closer to Cleveland. But it will be moving through, and more energy is going to be working its way into your territory, too, because this whole system is kind of working its way across the country, right? Start off in California, Midwest, and now traversing to the east. If you take a, place, uh, a look at places like Richmond, you're uh, seeing some flakes fly. A lot of this is light so far. Where the darker blue is, we're seeing heavier uh, content of precipitation, more of those big old fat flakes. So D.C., kind of getting 
getting skirted with a few flakes right now. Same thing with Baltimore, Atlantic City. It's just now entering into NYC. I know you're looking at 24 and cloudy, but look at the blue, Alex. I mean, it's literally knocking on their doorstep. And it's going to take over. Well, it took almost uh, until February, but D.C. finally seeing some accumulating snow, and that is going to pile up. Let's get back up to Justin Michaels there in the nation's capital. Justin, how are some of those residents reacting to this storm? Well, you know, it's funny. I was actually walking down Connecticut Avenue yesterday. I live in the DMV now. I'm walking down Connecticut Avenue, passing a toy store on Connecticut Avenue, and it was parent after parent after parent walking out with sleds and shovels and everything you need to have a fun day in the snow. And that's what people are going to be doing here today. A place people like to do that is actually right on the lawn here in front of the National Cathedral. And you can see a few people milling around over there. But uh, eventually, I think as the snow gets a little deeper, are we going to see some kids out this afternoon? I have to think so. But as far as the adults go, remember, travel is the name of the game. And even on snow days, people like to get out and drive around. This is Wisconsin Avenue, one of the main thoroughfares that basically goes all the way down into Georgetown. This is a big part of Washington, D.C., this road as people are getting around. And you can see that crews here, municipal crews, have done a really good job in Washington, D.C. Under the direction of Mayor Muriel Bowser, she put that snow emergency in effect starting this morning. It actually goes all the way through Tuesday morning here in our nation's capital. So uh, there are crews on alert. If you talk about Bethesda, Maryland, right across Western Avenue, that's going into Maryland, Chevy Chase, Bethesda, where Walter Reed Medical Center is. That's Montgomery County, Maryland, certainly part of the Washington, D.C. Metroplex. They have more than 300 crews out right now. You talk about Virginia, statewide, they have nearly 3,000 crews. And in fact, take a look right now at some video. Earliesville, Virginia, just this morning, as crews are out there doing the good work of keeping those roads clear, Earliesville has already gotten more than four inches of snow. Now, in total, Washington, D.C. is probably going to get about four inches. But you have to remember, this is going to be happening in phases. It's going to snow for the better part of this day. Then it's going to probably switch over to some rain tonight and then switch back to snow maybe around midday tomorrow. Uh, could we have some icing in there as well tonight, tomorrow morning. It's certainly possible. So best thing you can do on your Monday morning. The good news is people are probably still telecommuting. That's a good thing because going out tomorrow morning is probably not a good idea. And, and, and then Alex, of course, as you well know, going to be finishing with snow possibly as late as Tuesday morning. You can see some people over here, Alex, having a very small snowball fight. Of course, why wouldn't you do that on a Sunday in our nation's capital, right? Alex and Dew, if you were here, it would be on, my friend. Oh, yeah. You want a challenge? Let's do it. Uh, we were saying you should go <laughs> and join in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. I should. I should. I, I, I should do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I will get myself involved in a fight in D.C. before the end of the day. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Justin, we appreciate it. We'll check back with you in a bit. All right, let's get you to the sort of overview on how this is all going to play out here over the next few days. Here's the setup here for today. There's our upper trough of disturbance. That's what's helping to bring in some of the snow, initial snows that we're seeing now pro pro progressing into sections of the mid-Atlantic into the northeast. Again, this is kind of just the first bit of the precipitation. Things will only start to get cranking, though, once we see the other area of low pressure start to develop. And that's expected as we head on into tonight and into tomorrow. That's what's going to begin to work its way up the coast, fling that moisture back into where we've got that cold air. And, yeah, that's what's going to be really slamming us with quite a bit of snow uh, that we'll see here for you. Again, snow coming into that cold air, that fresh cold air driving on in. And you can see the numbers. I mean, 19 right now in Syracuse, 12 in Albany, heading down towards NYC. 24 there for you. Plenty cold enough for the snow. Harrisburg back down towards uh, Philadelphia. So eventually, New York not reporting it yet, but that's going to change here pretty soon. D.C. for you, you've got the snow continuing there. And then you work your way back in parts of the upper Ohio Valley. Well, we are finding a little bit of rain showing up there. So let's progress through the rest of the day. And what we'll start to notice is more of those circles start to show up here for us. There it goes. There's the area of low pressure starting to develop here just off the east coast. That's the one that really starts to take over heading into tomorrow morning. There's the snow still continuing around NYC across Long Island up towards Boston. More snow throughout the afternoon. It's not going to be a day to be getting out and trying to uh, get out and travel. It's not going to be a travel day at all. Winds will start to increase as well. Continuing into the evening, this is not one of those systems that just comes in and leaves pretty quickly. We're still dealing with it here. This is Tuesday morning. Some of these same areas dealing with that snow. Now, there will be some areas here right along the coast that do transition and go over to a bit of rain, maybe mixing with some snow at times. That's going to cut down on some of the totals. But the farther from the coast you head, the better shot you get into some of that uh, big-time snow. And that's what we're thinking here through Tuesday night. Look at the bullseye 
eastern parts of PA into northern Jersey, NYC, they're right in that zone of dealing with 12 or 18 to 24 inches. I mean, up to two feet is going to be possible out there. So this is some pretty significant snow, something that we just haven't seen in quite some time. And, and George, you've got a bit more kind of diving a bit deeper into what we may see around New York City. Well, I mean, if you just think about how much snow we're going to get, you got to go back several years to get even close to the numbers we're going to see from this storm alone. So Orlena is going to be working its way into the Big Apple. This scene is going to look much differently tomorrow, okay? I'm saying tomorrow morning and throughout the day, make sure to check in because it'll be covered in all that pow pow i mean we're talking five years all right could be most snow we've seen in five years all right more than a foot and a half of snow is predicted and uh with the way this storm is really developing and what alex just showed you as it moves offshore and gains that momentum and that strength that's why we think this thing is going to be a producer so remember we had winter storm gale this year already that gave us 10 inches, okay? Without that, we'd be in the nil category. But if you look at the last couple of years, we've had some storms that did produce back in 2018. We had one that was nine inches, 2017. We had one close to 10. You go back to 2015, 2016, that was one of your big doozy storms. Could this system be like that? And of course, if you take a look at the forecast numbers, I think so. When you look right at New York City, we're talking 15 to 20 inches of snowfall, and that includes you folks even out on Long Island, all right? All of us getting into the action with this classic uh, nor'easter type setup. Um, and if you go into some of the interior zones, now we're talking about two foot potential, okay? So we're just now getting started. Hasn't yet started to uh, see the flakes fly in New York City, but just to the south and west, we've seen some of it out in places like Somerville. But uh, again, it's going to be on the move. So timing this overnight tonight, you're getting the kids in bed. Maybe you're going to snooze yourself. It'll just now start. So you wake up in the morning and it's still going. All right. You head into midday. It's still snowing. You go, you're getting, you're thinking about what am I going to have for dinner tomorrow night? It's still snowing. Okay. So what I'm saying is this is going to be a long duration event, which is why it's going to be such a big producer. By the time we head into the uh, early Tuesday morning hours, we can maybe try to see a little rain, try to sneak into places around Long Island, but I don't think it's going to quite make it to New York City. So for New York, it's all snowfall for you. Okay. So looking again at some of these totals, I'm going to average it 10 to 15 inches on the island itself. New York City is going to be closer to 15 to 20, and then you go just north and west, and we're closer to 20 plus inches in your neck of the woods. Up towards Binghamton, um, we're still seeing a very healthy storm system itself, but since uh, we're seeing most of that energy closer to the Atlantic, that's why New York City is going to get hit a little harder. Uh, but Scranton, you'll see a good amount of snow from this. I think the borderline for most of the day is going to be just north of Binghamton as we go into your uh, day tomorrow, and then that'll continue its way northward. But as you can see, even for us in the um, upstate regions, Alex is going to get hit pretty good with this as well. All right, Jordan. Now there's other areas where we're going to be kind of right on that line and uh, determining what we see. A little bit more uncertainty in a spot like Boston, uh, just how much snow is going to stack up here. Closely watching you because there's just this, this really sharp gradient between getting into the really heavy snow and then potentially just seeing a few inches. So, yeah, it could be some disappointed folks around the Boston metro here as we head in towards the uh, early and mid part of the week when it's all said and done. Here's what's going on here for us now. This is looking at tomorrow evening. So Monday evening here for us there is our low and of course this always seems to happen right with these systems here in the northeast where does that rain low snow line start to set up well in this case it looks like again through the interior areas the farther away from 95 you had the better shot you've got that pretty much a slam dunk at getting into that heavier snow but just right along the coast that's where things get a little bit more iffy you go from the big snows to almost nothing uh they're just off the uh, coast so Look at this here in Boston. You can see where you are in that kind of blue shaded area. That's about three to four, maybe five inches of snow, but doesn't take too far to the west to get into some of those double digit totals. Now that could shift those double digits a little bit farther to the east. We could also see the double digit totals shift a little bit farther to the west. So it's really tough to determine exactly right now where this is all going to set up. So what's the best bet and thing to do is Prepare for the worst. Prepare for a, go a good bit of snow, and if it doesn't happen, well, good. We don't have to do dig out of that mess. But here's what we're thinking here as we head on through our Monday through the afternoon. There goes the snow. We'll be in it. Temperatures in the low to even mid-30s. And then as we progress into Monday evening, now we're starting to see that mix start to move on in. Now, again, how far west is that head? Yet to be determined, but again, right now, it looks like it may move west of even the Boston area. So there could be a brief period of time where we'll see that mostly rain. Then we start to switch back over to some snow once we get into Tuesday night. So cooling things back down and going over to some snow there before things start to really wind down. This is now by the time we get to late Wednesday into the morning hours. So again, there's that forecast. I mean, you've got, again, 14, 15, 16 inches here as you work your way westbound along the Mass Pike. 
But again, you start to get into some of those Boston suburbs and those amounts really start to lessen up a bit. So we'll watch you pretty closely farther to the south. Another zone that'll be getting on some of the snow. Pretty decent bet. Hartford there could be looking at double digits, lighter amounts off towards these. And even here, we'll see a brief period of time where we also mix in. Right now, clear skies, a lot of sunshine and teens, so it is chilly. But here's how it plays out. Overnight, we start to see the snow moving on in. All snow for these areas. But look what starts to take shape Monday evening. Look at that. Now we're talking along 95. There's some rain nudging closer towards Hartford. So Hartford could even get in on some of that mix as we work our way on in towards uh, your Tuesday early morning time before you go over to some snow. So where does that set up? How long does it last? That'll all go into determining just how much snow we may end up with there. All right, well, coming up as we continue to track Winter Storm Orlena, we got to break down the timing and also who's at risk for what could be a long duration snow event. That's all when we come back. The Dish Voice Remote has Google Assistant, which allows you to control all sorts of things, like the lights. Dim the lights. And the door. Lock the door. And of course, your TV. Resume moving. What it can't control? A keen snack radar. Yeah. The Dish Voice Remote with Google Assistant. Dish. This is what community looks like. Caring for each other protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. Smooth driving pays off. You've never been in better hands. Allstate. Click or call for a quote today. New Advil dual action with acetaminophen fights pain in two ways. Advil targets pain at the source, while acetaminophen blocks pain signals. The future of pain relief is here. New Advil dual action. We're Carvana, the company who invented car vending machines and buying a car 100% online. Now we've created a brand new way for you to sell your car. Whether it's a year old or a few years old, we want to buy your car. So go to Carvana and enter your license plate, answer a few questions, and our techno wizardry calculates your car's value and gives you a real offer in seconds. When you're ready, we'll come to you, pay you on the spot, and pick up your car. That's it. So ditch the old way of selling your car and say hello to the new way at Carvana. Where can a healthier heart lead you? For people with heart failure taking Entresto, it may lead to a world of possibilities. Entresto helped people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. They say it's boring to talk about the weather. I say it's boring not to. Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. Attention mesothelioma, and lung cancer victims. Did your job give you mesothelioma or lung cancer? If you were exposed to asbestos while on the job years ago and now have mesothelioma or lung cancer, you may be entitled to claim some of the $30 billion in corporate bankruptcy funds set aside for asbestos victims, even if you smoked. Colt Whites in Luxembourg today. They are the New York law firm who's won the state's highest verdicts for your colleagues and neighbors in their asbestos injury cases for the past 30 years. Keep your case at home in New York with the firm that knows how to win in court and out of court, Whites and Luxembourg. Their 500 lawyers and staffers are experienced and dedicated. Mesothelioma or lung cancer victims, call 800-299-6100. That's 800-299-6100. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 24 degrees with snow showers.
today. A few snow showers in the area. High 29. Winds northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of snow 50%. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Three to five inches of snow expected. Monday, snow along with gusty winds at times, high 36. Here's our seven day outlook. its weather. I'll bet you do it too. Maybe without realizing. Seattle, Washington. London, England. Los Angeles, California. See what I mean? Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. That's right. Get into the out there, even though it's snowing. We are asking you guys to do just that. And of course, you got to send us your photos from or video, of course, from Winter Storm Orlena. If, of course, you can do it safely. We do want to show you some of those. Catherine Dunlap sends us the picture of her dog getting into the out there. And <laughs> I would say enjoying it. That face is adorable. Like, what the heck is going on here? This is in Plainfield, Illinois. You uh, guys saw as much as a half of a foot of snow from Orlena. And um, I want to see more of this one because it brings a smile to our face, but we'd like to sh showcase how you guys are enjoying the snowfall because it's impacting millions of us. Now let's go take a live look at Westchester, Illinois. We do have storm tracker Charles Peak. Hey, Charles, driving around. It's about 20 miles or 20 minutes west of Chicago. And as you can see, already uh, as much as eight and a half inches around the town center. Um, of course, winter storm warnings in effect through six o'clock tonight. We're watching the system shift east. Looks like the roads have been uh, beginning cleared off by a lot of the plows in that area, but a lot of slush still left over. And that means driving conditions will be slippery uh, probably all the way into the morning hours tomorrow because we're going to keep the cold. I do want to showcase some numbers. Um, of course, Chicago is going to be right at the top here, but a lot of you have picked up well more than a half a foot range. Um, as you can see, Chicago, nine and a half inches. Milwaukee, the 10 inch mark for you folks. Indianapolis picked up four inches. Columbus, you're going to see more, but you got just around that three to four inch range. And then Fort Wayne, Indiana, whew, between seven and eight inches. So this thing is, um, is still kind of hanging around. All right, so flurries will continue. Some of you You'll go, it will get hit harder than others, especially on the right side of the screen as the storm is moving eastward. But we still have flakes flying to Chicago at a nice, comfortable 32 degree figure there for you folks. Same thing for Milwaukee. Notice where we've got the rain in Indianapolis. We've been talking all last week about how you were going to be right there on that border between snow and rainfall. And that's exactly where the line is uh, setting up shop. Columbus, in fact, seeing some rainfall uh, rain just to the north of you. But watch what happens as we move into tonight. We bring more cold air down to some of those big metro areas I was just talking about and shifting more cold air with the storm's movement, okay? So places like West Virginia, watch how the, the snow just kind of moves in and overtakes the rain. So the rainfall will transition to snow by the time we head into tomorrow morning. And if you're in Charleston, Roanoke, I know we've uh, gotten hit pretty good with some fat flakes. And that is, um, uh, we're still going to be seeing a little bit out of that. But most of the energy is now moving into the New England area. In fact, we want to get an update from meteorologist Mike Seidel, who is in Chicago. He gives us more. Hey, Mike. Welcome back to Chicago. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. The snow is still coming down on the riverfront here at the Loop area. And we're going to look up the Chicago River, get an idea of the visibility as it gets kind of murky and fuzzy in the distance. This is light snow because the visibility is greater than five eighths of a mile, but it adds up. And we could see another one to two inches this afternoon on top of the seven to 10 inches that have fallen across Chicagoland, officially at O'Hare through 7 a.m. Eastern, 6.8, but we probably had at least another inch since then. Now let's look down Wabash here at Wacker, and you can see the roadways. This is generally what we're seeing on anything that's been plowed and treated, including the Dan Ryan, the Kennedy, the Eisenhower Expressways. You've got pavement, concrete or asphalt, but you also have some slush out there as the snow continues to come down. One thing we don't have is a lot of cold air. The low last night was 30 degrees. The average low is 17. And right now it's at 31 degrees. So the snow winds down. They're de-icing at the airports, a ground delay program at O'Hare. And so far, several hundred flights have been canceled at Midway and O'Hare. So it ends today. But we've got more snow in the forecast on Thursday. We'll fine-tune that. But first, Felicia, we've got to get through uh, the big one. 
in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. It's already underway, and you've got more on that. All right, thanks so much, uh, Mike. As we follow this now across the Northeast, we'll work through the afternoon and head into tomorrow with more of that snow filling in from New York City up towards Hartford, Providence there in Rhode Island, up to Boston eventually as well throughout the afternoon. And watch for some of these snowfall rates. They're really going to get quite intense at times, and that's what's going to allow it to pile up quite a bit in some of these locations. So we'll take you city by city. We'll start you off in Philadelphia. And look at the top here. That's showing you those winds. Gusts that could get up over 40 miles per hour and snowfall rates in that moderate range. It could be really tough to navigate here starting Monday morning through the afternoon and even a bit beyond that. Still some pretty decent snowfall rates as we get in towards the evening. So this is a long duration that we'll be dealing with this Philadelphia. One of those spots where we could be talking about some double digit totals, particularly as you start to work your way north. Uh, some of the northern suburbs, uh, 14, 15 inches of snow will be possible. By the way, virtual learning now in Philadelphia. So that's one of the other issues that we're dealing with here. Uh, snow days, I think we're pretty much saying goodbye to those in a lot of areas. Thanks to virtual learning. All right, NYC, another location that will be talking about those snowfall rates really climbing throughout the day on Monday at times for a few hours here. Heavy snowfall rates. Look at those winds getting up over 30 to 35 mile per hour winds, at least with those gusts. If we can sustain that for some time and reduce the vis visibility for a bit, it's not out of the question that we could see blizzard conditions here in and around NYC. So really big heads up there. And look at the big totals. I mean, we're approaching two feet in some locations. Tasha, did you know Geico could save you hundreds on car insurance and a whole lot more? So what are you waiting for? Hip-hop group tag team to help you plan dessert? Aw, uh, fresh vanilla, rocky road, chocolate, peanut butter, cookie dough. Scoop, that is, scoop, that is, scoop, that is, scoop, that is, scoop, shakalaka, 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 scoop, shakalaka, 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 Geico, switch today and see all the ways you could save. There are many reasons for waiting to visit your doctor right now. But if you're experiencing irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait to contact your doctor because these symptoms could be signs of a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which could make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. Your symptoms can mean something serious, so this is no time to wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. An after-school pickup that doesn't let her down. Warming their hearts in the middle of a blizzard. Playing welcome wagon to your favorite person on earth. Never missing a single goal. Despite the weather, despite the storms, Bosch High Performance Windshield Wipers handle the harshest conditions to help you reach life's important moments. See what matters most with Bosch. What if sun-made raisins were just the beginning? A naturally sweet start to a world of delicious flavors like sour candy and s'mores. All from sun-made and all made with whole fruit. Imagine that! Mom! I can't find Mr. Quaggo! Mom's in York mode right now. She's enjoying yummy dark chocolate and refreshing peppermint. Mom is back. The York you love, just better. <sighs> Life doesn't give you many second chances. But a Subaru can. You guys okay? Eyesight with pre-collision braking. Standard on the Subaru Ascent. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Get 0% for 63 months on select new 2021 models. Now through February 1st. Save me some cheddar. Capital One Shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? Special delivery. Domino's is now delivering thousands of movies for free with any online order. So you can have cheeseburger pizza with extra cheesy rom-coms. It's you. It's me. Get 30-day access to stream thousands of movies for free on Epics Now with any online order from Domino's. Get this. I have my Stouffer's bowl fulls and a fried chicken mashed potato fork full. For which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Have you or a loved one been wronged by pre-made breakfast?
now Wendy's has your back. Dropping the hammer with two of these made-to-order breakfast sandwiches for just $4. Get the breakfast you deserve now, too, for $4. Only at Wendy's. Well, double-digit snowfall totals this afternoon in the Chicagoland area. Check it out. Winter storm Orlena, you're doing what we thought you were going to do, producing snow all over the place. And you know what? Snow still coming down as the system slowly but surely makes its way across the Ohio River Valley, uh, Ohio Valley itself tonight. And then, of course, it's going to head into the major metros of the Northeast into tomorrow. So are you one of the locations that have yet to use your snowblower or your snow shovel? You're lucky, but this storm system could do the exact opposite. So I hope you guys are ready for it, right, Alex? <laughs> you said it, absolutely. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us on special coverage of Winter Storm Alina. I am meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. Now, after a pretty much snowless winter, how quickly things have changed for Washington, D.C., which could see as much as eight inches when this uh, storm is all done with. Let's get right to Justin Michaels, live there in the nation's capital. And Justin, the DMV, they're looking at some substan substantial snow this time around. Yeah, for the first time in about two years, we're experiencing a real measurable snow. Believe it or not, it was back on February 19th of 2019 when they got their last inch of snow. Right now, we've got about two inches of snow. And what does that mean? Well, playing in the snow for a lot of kids. We're outside of the National Cathedral right now, and this is a place all year long. People like to come and enjoy, read a book, enjoy the scenery. You can see how beautiful, beautiful the facade of that cathedral is. But more importantly today, we've got the snow falling, and that means you have kids playing. And you can see out here, these kids are building some nice little snowmen, uh, and it definitely is the, a, a day for kids, right? I mean, I mean, adults, yes, we can have a good time, you know, young at heart, all that kind of stuff. But for the kids, this is very magical, especially for these guys. It might be a snow that this is the first snow they may remember, right? Because two years ago, she was definitely much younger, and now we have a snow. So hopefully this winter is a lot of fun for these guys, and they're going to be able to make some snowmen and have some snowball fights. But as far as the business end of the snowstorm, let me give you some timing here. So for the better part of this day, up through this evening, we're going to have snow. Then it's going to switch over to rain this evening, probably as the warm air filters in. But then Overnight, it's going to rain a little bit, maybe some icing. By about midday tomorrow, that's when the snow is going to kick in again. Here in Washington, D.C., probably going to get about four inches, maybe six inches. We'll see how it all pans out. North and west of here, getting up into Leesburg, getting up into Frederick, getting up over along the I-70 corridor and the I-81 corridor, if you know this neck of the woods, up into Pennsylvania, we're going to see a lot more. Even Baltimore could see seven or eight inches of snow where D.C. is going to get four or six. Uh, so that's some good news, though, for, for people that are south, where they're just going to be getting the rain. But as you go farther north and west, we're talking more snow. And for people who love the snow, like me, and like these guys over here, uh, yeah, it's a good day to be out in the snow right now for sure. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> Can you wave? Good times. Look at that little guy. He's like right out of central casting for a kid. My goodness gracious, that guy's, that guy's great. Uh, so just be careful when you're headed out. We have seen a lot of people driving around today on Wisconsin Avenue and many of the other streets in D.C. They haven't cleaned off their cars. They haven't cleaned off their cars. So make sure you're doing that. Not just the windshield, not just the windshield wipers. Clean it off. Clean off the roof, clean off the trunk. Because remember, especially as the rain might kick in this evening, and then it's going to refreeze tomorrow, Alex. You know what's going to happen, Alex. Those are going to turn into sheets of ice on people's cars that blow off and can cause accidents on the highway. Alex, into you. Yeah, we've seen that way too often. Uh, good advice there. Thanks so much, Justin. Well, Orlina going to be putting on quite the snow uh, show here for us in the Northeast. Cities like NYC. Worcester there, Massachusetts, D.C., Philly, all digging out from some of that heavy snow. And, and we could be talking about one, two inch per hour snowfall rates uh, with this snowstorm that won't wrap up until Tuesday evening. So, again, this is one of those situations that's going to be around for some time. 
not just an in and out uh, situation here uh, for us. Uh, so, yeah, get ready for it to really add up in a number of these locations. And, and Jordan, you've got a bit more on this, again, not so quick moving system. No, and I love what you call it. We call it the snow show because we are all going to get into something. And you know what? I, I don't know if you guys could, um, you really looked at some of those uh, camera shots that we were showing you, but Philadelphia got a few flakes. And I want to show you radar right now. And just to kind of let you know, it's all starting off light. It's going to be picking up over time. And we're going to be bringing in more precipitation as we head into the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow. So everything you see right now, doesn't necessarily tell you, wait, is this all the storm's really going to be producing? You're going to get big old fat flakes, don't get me wrong, once we get into uh, the, peak, uh, the peak time of this snow show, all right? So here's a look at where the, uh, the snow line is right now. Kind of crossing over through New York State, trying to get into places like Connecticut. But Scranton, you've got some snow. Nothing currently in New York, but the atmosphere is kind of thickening up with some moisture, and you'll eventually see that. As we take a look at this, uh, this bigger picture, low pressure system forming. This high up to the north is going to act as a blocking pattern. So once the storm moves over into the northeast, it's going to halt it and slow it down. Which is why when you look at how many hours we could see of snowfall, Pittsburgh, 52 straight hours of snow. Which is why we're in one of the bullseye locations. Philadelphia, 56 hours of nonstop snow. So this kind of paints the picture of how long we're going to see those flakes fly. Talking more. A winter storm. Bowlfuls and a fried chicken mashed potato forkful, for which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing, because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh! <laughs> Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that, uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. <gasps> right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull her home back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal discomfort? Taking Align can help. Align contains a quality probiotic to naturally help soothe digestive upsets 24-7. Try Align, the pros in digestive health, and join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up and learn what millions of Align users already know, how great a healthy gut can feel. Sign up at AlignProbiotics.com. Also try Align Dual Biotic Gummies to help support digestive health. Mmm, it's bountiful grain-free. It's so healthy. Ah, farm-raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful grain-free. Out with the grain, in with the farm-raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. With Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh, it's not just a sandwich. Far from it. It's a reason to come together. It's a taste of something good. A taste we could all use right now. So let's make the most of it and make every sandwich count with Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. Oh, this is a mouth-watering Marco's pizza. And this is a new build-your-own pizza bowl with no crust and up to four toppings for $7.99. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Marco's, pizza lovers get it. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is freaking hard. You get advice like, try hypnosis or quit cold turkey. Kidding me? Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. So ashamed I overpaid for this used car if decided to go undercover. Guess I picked the wrong used car site. Remember, if you don't see me, you're not seeing the most accurate price. Shop at Carfax. You won't have to overpay on a used car again. Hey, Bob. Oh, my. Hey, Beth. How we feeling? Good. Yep. Moving. Moving. Shop millions of great deals, all with a free Carfax report. Only at the all-new Carfax.com. All right, I brought in Ensure Max Protein to give you the protein you need. With less of the sugar, you don't. I'll take that. 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Ensure Max Protein with nutrients to support immune health. They say it's boring to talk about the weather. I say it's boring not to. Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. 
Thank you for staying with us live as we track Winter Storm Orlena. I'm Justin Michaels, live right now in front of the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., right on Wisconsin Avenue. You can see that iconic building, truly a piece of Americana here along Wisconsin Avenue, and certainly beautiful as the snow from Orlena continues to fall. Uh, so as far as we're talking about here in the DMV, if you don't know what that means, that's D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. DMV is what it's called if you live in this neck of the woods. Uh, we're going to see some snow, but it depends on where you are. If you're south and east of Washington, D.C., it's eventually going to switch over to rain a lot sooner than maybe north and west. Uh, so just be paying attention to local reports. Be paying attention to us here on the Weather Channel. We're going to show you as this day continues to evolve and change what it's going to be like. But in the greater Washington, D.C. area, we can expect about four inches of snow by Tuesday morning. Remember, this is a really slow mover, so don't think that these little flakes that are falling right now, oh, it's coming to an end, because it's not. We have all day today before it switches back over to rain, and then eventually back over to snow around midday on Monday, and then it's going to snow a little bit more tomorrow afternoon, and then puttering out around Tuesday. So be very careful as you're going out and about. Now, taking a look, you can see Wisconsin Avenue is really looking just fine. And travel, of course, and we're talking about winter weather, is certainly something we all have to pay attention attention to, but the good news is with the snow emergency in effect here in Washington, D.C., the mayor put that in effect, Alex, uh, from this morning all the way through Tuesday morning, the crews are working very hard, and you can see, Alex, I know you're going to be talking about travel. Wisconsin Avenue is in really good shape, and if this is, many of the other streets here in D.C. are as well. As far as the airports here, Alex, no issues in any D.C. airports. That's some good news. Alex, into you. Yeah, that is good to hear, absolutely. You know, just let the crews get, to, get out there, do what they need to do, stay off the roads. Uh, the right. best bet here for us. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. We'll check back uh, with you. All right. Uh, of course, travels will be an issue in a number of other locations. Here's the big overview of the, the radar picture. You see the shield of precip snow here for a good chunk of the mid-Atlantic beginning to move in the northeast. We've been dealing with all the problems back towards the west around Chicago, Indy, Cincy. You're fully dealing with the rain there in Cincy, a good chunk of the Ohio Valley. But as you head just north, Interstate 70, you run into some of that uh, snow. You can see some of the delays that are showing up right now. Looks like Chicago, the big winner, or I should say loser when it comes to delays. 194-minute delay showing up there. Woo, over three hours. That is not a fun situation, uh, despite the fact that we don't have too much in the way of too much uh, gusty conditions. Visibility, though, is down quite a bit to right around a mile. So, yeah, this is going to be a tough area to try to get in and out of here for the day. And we'll eventually wa work our way east to watch a lot of these hubs uh, go down. Right now, it's just Philadelphia seeing delays, getting up over a half an hour or so, close to an hour there. Uh, otherwise, it looks like all the other hubs are doing just fine. Justin mentioned the hubs around D.C. looking pretty good at this time. But by tomorrow, yeah, we replace a lot of those green icons with the red. So high impacts here to a number of these airports. Pittsburgh, Baltimore, BWI heading in out of there. All the hubs around NYC getting up towards Boston as well. Tomorrow is going to be a tough travel day uh, for you. Not just at the airports, but the roadways as well. This is tomorrow morning now. Getting into the early part of the day, you've got a lot of green, or I should say the red showing up, indicating where, again, it's going to be a high impact here for us on those roads. Just decide right now, I would say, places like Harrisburg, New York City, to just not even bother getting out. It's just not worth it trying to get out there into this mess because at times the winds will start to crank up and the snowfall rates will go up, and that's going to mean a tough time for travels throughout the lunch hour as well, spreading its way up into portions of New England and even into tomorrow evening as well. As we've been talking about, this is not an in-and-out quickly situation. It's around all day tomorrow. So, yeah, Jordan, uh, no doubt a day to just... Take it easy, stay home, and uh, stay off those roads. Yeah, yeah, and if you got a flight tomorrow, <laughs> you might be sticking around for a while enjoying some of that snowfall. Here's a live look where we're seeing the exact opposite going on right now. Sunshine, and it really looks comfortable. I'm just, you know, looking outside, kind of waiting for everything to move through. East Hampton, New York, this is going to look completely different. I'll tell you what, it's going to be snow covered. Really? Right there at the beach's edge? You betcha, okay? So this is going to be, like uh, Alex was talking about, a high-impact event, long duration, and um, you didn't think actually is going to happen. Once we get this storm to really move its way off into the Atlantic, it actually gains strength and lingers, and that's why it's going to be such a high producer because it doesn't just move off and continue its west-to-east movement. It moves off, gains strength, and sticks around, all right? So that's going to be pretty much the, uh, the picture for us as we move ahead over the next uh, 12, 24, 36, 48, 72 hours. For some of you, we'll be in it for uh, for. Uh, 
uh, for several hours here. And um, I think once we start to see this thing really gain shape, that's when we're going to start to see some of those big old flakes fly. Now, the wind hasn't necessarily been too problematic in some of these locations yet, but it will. All right, it's going to all pick up once we get that low to move offshore. We're talking wind gusts, maybe as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour out there on the Jersey Shore. Um, we're going to watch the, where the center of that low is and how it's going to, um, all that convergence taking place. So this is why we're all going to be feeling the wind blowing snow, whipping you in the face. That's definitely a possibility as you take a look at we go on a Tuesday night and we still have those winds now coming in out of the north, keeping us quite chilly and cold enough for the snowfall. Now the problem here with that, I know the snow is kind of fun to talk about as long as you stay inside and you can stay safe. Uh, big problems could be some flood issues that we have. As you can see, we've got it for the Jersey Shore and even parts of Long Island. All right, Alex. All right, Jordan, we head to uh, the Cleveland area where earlier this morning we had a bit of snow to deal with there. It looks like we've got uh, a little bit more to come. A couple of inches here around the city. I'd say about two to three as you start to work your way a bit farther to the south. Maybe four inches here is what you may find around Akron. Welcome to the Quaker Breakfast Table, where you listen, laugh, and dig in. Where new normals are created. Movement. Don't you tell me. Celebrate your love with a gift from Pandora Jewelry and discover all the ways to shop. This is what community looks like. Caring for each other. Protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. Hey guys, new phones are here. We switched to Spectrum Mobile so we can mix and match plans and save money. Nice. We got the buy the gig plan, so we only pay for what we use. You get the unlimited plan. Nice. And so do you. Nice. It's great they let you mix plans like that. Guess they understand that everyone is different. We're not clones. <laughs> right? Spectrum Mobile lets you mix and match any plan and save because it's a better way to mobile. Spectrum Mobile. For skin as alive as you are, don't settle for silver. Seven moisturizers, three vitamins, 24 hour hydration. Gold Bond. Champion your skin. Age before beauty? Why not both? Visibly diminish wrinkled skin in just two days. New Crepe Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Champion your skin. Cloud in this picture. Look closely. I'll give you a second. Did you find it here? Excellent job. That water holds future clouds. Sun's working on it as we speak. Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 24 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, a few snow showers in the area. High 29, winds northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of snow, 50%. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Three to five inches of snow expected. Monday, snow along with gusty winds at times. High 36. Here's our seven day outlook. We're calling this one Winter Storm Orlena. And I'm Justin Michaels live for you outside the National Cathedral along Wisconsin Avenue in Washington, D.C. Here in D.C., it's snowing. And this is not something they're used to because they haven't had a real measurable snow like this since February of 2019. That's two years ago. So this is exciting for a lot of kids, even a lot of adults like me, kid at heart, having a good time. But how much snow has actually fallen? Well, let me chop this off 
and you can see the relief there. What do we got? About two inches, two and a half inches of snow here right outside of the National Cathedral. Uh, so it's going to continue to fall. And when it's all said and done, we could see maybe about four five, six inches, depending on where you are, north and west more, south and east less. But you can see it's a beautiful snow. And what kind of snow are we talking about for all the kids who want to go out? Can I make a snowball here? I can pack that pretty well. That could have, you could have some fun with that for sure. And we have seen some people here in the lawn at the National Cathedral making snowmen. They're tiny snowmen at this point, but they're making them nonetheless. Uh, so remember, as this goes along, people are going to say, oh, it's switching over to rain, the storm's over. No, it's not, because this is such a long-duration event. We're going to be dealing with Orlena all the way through Tuesday morning, and that is when the snow uh, this, the uh, snow emergency ends here in Washington, D.C. It started this morning, goes through Tuesday morning, uh, and Muriel Bowser, the mayor of D.C., uh, extended that to make sure that crews have the time they need to keep the roads clear and we have people staying as safe as possible. So make sure, remember, when you're out and you come across one of those plow crews, whether it's on a highway or a byway or a local street, whatever it might be, give them hundreds of feet of space. Stay away from them. It's the best thing you can do to keep them safe, keep you safe, and make sure they're able to do the good work of keeping these roads as clear as possible. But you can see, as we send it back in, guys, just take a look how beautiful that National Cathedral is. Certainly an iconic building here in Washington, D.C. Uh, so many things we think of uh, are the Capitol and the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Memorial. But this one right here in Wisconsin, I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd put that up against any building in the world as far as beauty goes. Absolutely stunning as you're driving along Wisconsin. Avenue. Yeah, Guys, totally. It looks absolutely beautiful. And keep your eye out, Justin, for the unique photos that you're going to get. I just saw on Twitter at the National Monument, someone was cross-country skiing. <laughs> so you might see okay. some of that, okay? Okay. Yes, sounds good. Maybe okay. I should get some skis. That would be fun. Why not? Yes, of course. And anybody else out there who's going to be out and about, just send us your photos. We want to showcase that as this storm system really moves through. I do want to take you now and uh, kind of look where we're still seeing snowfall out in part of the Midwest. Chicago, you got some flakes still flying. A lot of you guys are picking up between 6 and 10 inches. I do want to get a new update. Fort Wayne, 8.2 inches of snowfall, okay? Notice you still have the snowflake icon over your neck. The wood's sitting at 32 degrees, so you're still getting it. Oh, and by the way, in Chicago on Monday and Tuesday of this last week, we had another storm that produced six inches of snow. So this is the second one in a week. Last time we had two storms give us six inches or more was back in 2014. So just kind of a neat statistic here. Let's go show you the formation of this. We're still going to see snow through tonight in places like Chicago and Fort Wayne. The overnight hours is when it will wrap up, and all this is transitioning to the east. Virginia, West Virginia, if you got rain, it could transition to snow once we get the cold air in your neck of the woods. And we're going to see all of this start to get um, really ramp up as we go into your Monday evening and into Tuesday. And that's because we're going to bring in some of that energy coming in off the Atlantic, and that's why we're going to see a good old-fashioned snow producer for a lot of the big metro areas. If we just focus here on part of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, uh, as you can see, a lot of us will get another one to three inches. If you haven't had much yet, there's still some to come. Some of the higher one totals could be three to five. Uh, even Nashville, all right, you could see a bit. It's not a big bullseye, but you could be waking up with about an inch of snowfall um, on the floor as we head into your uh, Monday morning. So notice the time here, Alex. It'll be tonight into early tomorrow when Nashville could see just a little bit of snow. Ah, so if you want to see it, wake up extra mm. early there. All right, well, Winter Storm Orlena bringing the one-two punch of heavy snow and blowing wind to the Midwest. And, well, this storm likely to intensify as it cranks up here on, on the East Coast, potentially, potentially bringing blizzard conditions to the Northeast tomorrow. So we're really going to be watching that very, very closely here as this thing starts to wind up and crank up here off the East Coast. And essentially through Tuesday, this thing's going to be around, bringing some of those strong winds in and along with the snow, that could lead to blizzard conditions. So there's actually criteria that needs to be met. And it's kind of hard to happen. You've got to have wind speeds, frequent wind gusts, or sustained winds of 35 miles per hour or greater, and that needs to reduce visibility to a quarter of a mile or less, and all that has to happen for at least three hours. So all of those things have to happen. It's hard to happen, but it's certainly a possibility, something that we can't rule out. Some things that aren't factors, in fact, a snowfall amount. You can actually have no snow falling, but snow that's already on the ground getting whipped up by wind, that could lead to blizzard conditions. Temperature doesn't matter, and geographical location doesn't matter either. You can have a blizzard in Miami, at least theoretically. Now, of course, that wouldn't happen, but it is, it is a possibility, Jordan. And yeah, it is. I know it's uh, kind of unique when you throw out how far south you could see blizzards, but it is possible. Another air, a part of this storm system that we haven't talked about much yet is the rain. We are seeing it out in the south, but again, that snow is the biggest story. We'll have more coming up next.
real fruit, and whole grains. Doing something good for yourself has never been this easy. Kellogg's special. Someday I'll ask you a question that will change me forever. If you fall. Someday, they 20% off all bridal. Research shows remember commercials with nostalgia. So remember that Liberty Mutual customizes your insurance. Here's one that will really take. Customize home insurance from Liberty. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Can a heart lead you? For people with heart failure taking Entresto, it may lead to a world of possibilities. Entresto help people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It causes harm or death. Don't take Entresto. Or angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Hey there, I'm Jake. And I love about Chico Grilled Spicy Deluxe, that grill that we all know and love with a grilled marks. It's you see, the heat, the cheese, the multi-grain brioche bun, the flavor is just out of this world. Hey, I'm Amber, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. This is not your traditional spicy chicken sandwich. You get the grilled flavor, seasoning, spices, married all together to this perfect sandwich. It's literally like fireworks in your mouth. Get this, I have my Stouffer's Bowlfuls and a fried chicken mashed potato forkful, for which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing, because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh! <laughs> With Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh, it's not just a sandwich. Far from it. It's a reason to come together. It's a taste of something good. A taste we could all use right now. So let's make the most of it and make every sandwich count. With Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. Mmm, that's bountiful, grain-free. It's so healthy. Ah, farm-raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful grain-free. Out with the grain, in with the farm-raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. If your girl loves to shop for clothes, get her the Elite Box at AdoreMe.com. A stylist sends her a bunch of outfits to try on at home. Bras, lingerie, PJs. You only pay for what she keeps with free returns. Order before February 14th and get a surprise gift at AdoreMe.com. Wherever you start, SNHU is where you can finish. Here we go. And it's it. Yay! Southern New Hampshire University. Like it's a hoax. Look at that! <laughs> Master's degree! I did it! I did this for my children. I am very proud of myself. Finish your edu. Recognize. Gillette Proglide and Proglide Gel. Five builds in a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you're ready for the day with a clean shave and a clean face. Good afternoon, everybody. Our special extended coverage of Winter Storm Arlena. It is continuing right here on the Weather Channel. And after blanketing the Midwest with snow, this major storm right here is now poised to absolutely batter the East Coast with heavy snow and strong winds. That is to come. Hello and welcome to a very active day of the weather unfolding right now. I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. Orlena, bring in the nation's capital. It's first true taste of winter. In fact, the mayor declaring a snow emergency through Tuesday. And that's where we find reporter Justin Michaels. And Justin could be talking over six to eight inches there when it's all said and done. More than we've seen this winter and more than we saw all to go back until February of 2019, in fact, the 19th of February of 2019, uh, to find the last, wait for it, one inch of snow that Washington, D.C. got today. We already have about two, two and a half inches here right outside of the National Cathedral. And you can see, if you're just tuning in, uh, we decided to be live here because it's a great place to be that has an iconic building, something absolutely beautiful that has been a place where presidents' funerals have been. John McCain's funeral was here. Presidents have attended church here. Just an iconic Washington, D.C. building. 
So it gives us that while staying away from the mall and all the craziness downtown, which is probably not a bad thing. As far as where we are in Washington, D.C., this is northwest Washington, D.C., very close to the Maryland border, and this is Wisconsin Avenue. So if you went that way, we'd end up in Georgetown. If you go that way, you end up in uh, Chevy Chase and Bethesda, Maryland. So uh, lots of people live around here. You can see all of the, all of the apartments right along uh, Wisconsin Avenue. But more importantly, relating to Orlena, you can see how clear the roads are. The roads are doing really well today uh, with Muriel Bowser, the mayor here in Washington, D.C., putting out that snow emergency. Crews have been out in full force. We know in Montgomery County, which is the county where Bethesda is just beyond the D.C. border, there are more than 300 crews out clearing, scraping, salting, doing whatever they have to do to keep the roads clear. And then when you head to Virginia, Jordan, there are more than 3,000 crews statewide in Virginia doing the exact same thing. So we know this is all on effort to make sure people have the ability to get around if they need to. But, Jordan, as you know as well as I do, the best thing you can do during winter weather, just stay inside. Yeah. Jordan, into you. Yeah, just go play out front if you can. Uh, get the kids and just do something fun outside. I know that uh, traveling is going to be a mess for a lot of folks, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just going to be that I-95 corridor. I mean, just look at the alerts we have all the way from parts of the Midwest stretching into the Northeast now that Orlena is on the move. And, of course, we know what happened early in the start of the week when it absolutely hammered California. Look how much energy we still have left and how much we're going to actually pick up as it re-strengthens when it moves into places like New York City. I mean, could we be the bullseye right there in the Big Apple? I mean, it's going to be very, very close, Alex. Either way, we're going to have big numbers from a lot of these big metro areas. Yeah, huge numbers. You said it. Well, let's get the very latest on what we know with our winter storm. Orlina, 62 million people under winter storm warnings with those warnings stretching from the Midwest to the Northeast. The Maryland Department of Transportation is deploying 370,000 tons of rock salt to treat the roads. And New York City, well, could see its biggest snowstorm in more than five years. With over a foot of snow possible, that would be the biggest snowstorm since winter storm Jonas back in 2016. And, Jordan, you've got a bit more on what this thing is doing right now. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one that we uh, marked down with an asterisk on it because it's so robust, right? And uh, just looking at the big picture once again from Chicago all the way into New York City, we got the snowfall. We got the rain line just to the south of there. So we're watching where the mild air and the cold air really interact, and then we're going to see what happens as this thing moves east. But even parts of, uh, of, of Maryland uh, up here in the uh, the higher terrain picking up more than six inches, get closing in on a foot. Looking at some other numbers, Fort Wayne, you picked up a decent amount, more than eight inches in your neck of the woods. Milwaukee, 10 inches for you. So big makers for you folks around the Great lakes and you know what it is still coming down taking a look right now at chicago we got temperatures sitting at a i'm gonna call it a comfortable 31 because it's not too too frigid but definitely cold enough to keep the snow coming 8.8 at o'hare midway coming in at nine visibility down to a mile all right and the wind threat's going to get really cranking for you folks along the eastern seaboard once we get uh, those, those northerly winds to really take shape. But it's going to be picking up as that storm moves that direction. So the snowfall just now kind of moving its way through, moseying on, all right? It's, uh, it's going below the speed limit. We'll just say that right now, all right? This is going to be a slow mover for sure. The unique thing is, is the temperatures, all right? Definitely cold enough, especially in the northeast. As soon as the snow falls, it's going to start to accumulate. The temperatures will turn a little bit more on the mild side, closer to the mid to upper 20s and low 30s once it gets the moisture, but it's definitely cold enough to see all of that stuff stick, which is why we have um, uh, several of us, to, to say the least, uh, under a winter storm warning and winter weather advisory. So this thing's going to be uh, with us for a few days, Alex. Looks like we won't be saying bye-bye to this until probably midweek time frame. Uh, we're in for the long haul. Well, it took almost until February, but D.C. finally seeing some of that accumulating snow. And that's going to be piling up. Let's get back out to Justin Michaels there in the nation's capital. And Justin, you know, folks, you know, hardy folks around the D.C. metro may be happy to see a little bit of snow because we've been lacking in that department here the last couple of years. Yeah, literally two years it's been since D.C. has had any kind of measurable snow. It was two years ago this February that we got our last inch of snow. It's been two years in January since we got our last three inches of snow, two different storms there. Uh, so this is exciting for a lot of people, and the excitement is 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 turning itself into things like this. Uh, snowmen uh, with, with antlers, it looks like. So who's responsible for this? Hey, guys, who, who put this together? 
Okay, well, it looks great. Here's another one right here. So tell me, what's it like to have a snow day in D.C.? It's been two years since the last one. Yeah, finally. It's so exciting. We yeah. love the snow. It just feels so much better. Waking up on a Sunday, it's like all white and crisp, so that's super fun. Yeah, and it's going to be a couple-day event. So do you guys have any plans, or are you just going to be building snowmen for the next two days? Going to do that, I guess. Yeah? Drinking hot chocolate. Nice. Uh, I'm from Sweden, so this feels like home for me. Oh, so, yeah, it, it yeah. does feel like you're back at home, right? Exactly. So first thing in the morning, we came out here and made some snowmen. Oh, that's fun. Nice. Well, welcome to the DMV. I hope you guys have Thank a nice you. day and nice yeah, time in the snow. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, so again, you know, people are having a good time as best they can. And that's easy to do here in D.C. because the crews have been working very hard to make sure the roads are as clear as possible. No issues at the airports right now. And for the most part, roads are clear. I can tell you earlier this morning, there was some issues on area on ramps and off ramps to highways. Uh, but for the most part, crews are working very hard to make it as safe as possible to get around. But what's the best thing to do on snow days like this? Probably stay inside or come outside to your front lawn and have a good time or walk to a place like the National Cathedral. Look how gorgeous this building is. It's gorgeous every day of the year, but when you see it during a uh, winter storm or Lena or any other winter storm, it absolutely is breathtaking. Uh, and just one of the many locations around the DMV, uh, that's the D.C., Maryland, Virginia DMV is what they call it around here. Uh, lots of people are dealing with the snow today and having a good time. So remember, this is a long duration event. It's going to snow for the better part of this day before that warm air comes in, switches over to rain. And then right around midday tomorrow, you can expect the snow to start again. Totally here in D.C., we could get maybe four, six inches of snow. So it's not over yet. You're going to have a couple days to deal with this snow and have a good time. And let's hope for people who love the snow, it's the beginning of what's going to be a snowy first, uh, snowy winter here for the first time in a couple years. Uh, but people are having a good time. So, again, use caution if you're going out, but try to have a good time in the snow as well. Guys, into you. Yeah, hey, all right. Thanks so much, Justin. Yeah, it's always fun when the snow comes in on the weekend. You can get out and enjoy it. Well, that won't be the case for some of us in the Northeast because we're going to be cranking that snow up for Monday into Tuesday, getting into that work week here where it becomes a bit more problematic. So here's the setup through Tuesday. Deep trough here in the eastern third of the country. There's the low that will be working its way up the coast flinging back the moisture here into where we've got some of that colder air. And again, this thing's not going to be just moving in and then out of here quickly. It's going to be around for some time. Now we're seeing some initial uh, snows creeping its way up the northeast uh, coast here for you from Philadelphia, starting to get into New York. Not quite reporting it there at Central Park, but it will start here pretty soon. Scranton seeing some of that 24, 28 there in Harrisburg. Plenty cold enough for dealing with the snow in those areas. You saw the shot around Justin in D.C. You're seeing some snow there and then back into the Ohio Valley. That's where we've got some rain, at least uh, uh, at the moment. So this is how it plays out as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon. Start you off at about 3 o'clock hour. Still snowing here in the mid-Atlantic. Baltimore, you're in the thick of things there. New York City now getting in on it as well. And then there's the low that starts to develop. This will be heading into tomorrow morning. That's the one that's going to really take over and start to crank up, moving on off towards the north here throughout the afternoon. Slow mover, a lot of wind as well as the snow coming on down. Now watch out here with some of the immediate coastal zones here around the 95 corridor uh, and points east. Those are some zones that may switch over to a little rain for some time, and that may help to cut down some of the snow totals. And where that sets up is going to be very important. You see around Boston, Tuesday later in the afternoon, you could be dealing with more of a rain and snow mix. So again, that could cut down on some of the totals there. Really tricky forecast around Boston. Better shot at more of a slam dunk in a spot like New York City where we think the snow is going to last a little longer. So that's an area where we see that pink shade showing up. What does that correspond to? 18 to 24 inches of snow. I mean, up to two feet will be possible in some of these areas. That's a lot of snow, particularly in an area where we just haven't seen a whole lot as of late. Jordan, you've got a bit more what we can anticipate there specifically there in NYC. Yeah, might as well focus on the big apple while you're talking about it. Golly, we can see 18 to 24 inches here in this picture. Give it a couple days, ladies and gentlemen, and this Earth Cam shot is going to look much different. If, if this forecast verifies, it is going to really pack a punch, okay? We're talking a foot and a half. Maybe more than that, a couple of those locations. This is going until Tuesday night. Notice we don't really see any flakes in the camera right now. Just looking at radar, and we are starting to see some of that energy get closer to NYC. So I would say anticipate the snow starting here in the next couple of hours. Let's go ahead and, and kind of show you where we've been and some of the bigger storms that we've had in New York City. All right, obviously this year we had the big one from Winter Storm Gale. That gave us 10 inches. Remember the pictures from Central Park? It looked absolutely beautiful. But you go back to 2019, man, we had nothing, right? 
storm produced maybe an inch or two. 2018, we had a good system move through. 2017, 2016, but look what happened five years ago. More than that, 2015 and 2016 time frame. We had a storm that produced 27 and a half inches. Now, although these numbers won't quite get there, this is still very impressive, all right? 10 to 20 plus inches. Some of you definitely going to hit past that two foot mark, which will be really interesting to see some of those um, those pictures coming out of your neck of the woods. But as promised, I told you the snowfall is literally knocking on your doorstep, just about to cross over. Give it some time. All right. Like I said, it's such a slow mover. It's just kind of inching its way along. And uh, once it starts, you're not going to let up all the way until Tuesday. All right. Second half of the day, probably. If we take a look at the time here, notice we go into the overnight hours. We got the snow. Uh, definitely look at the wind. I think that's going to be a big problem, too. Uh, if you have to travel, the snow is hard enough as it is. You add in the wind, and that's going to be problematic in addition to that. If you take a look as we go into Monday afternoon, the wind's really cranking out there on Long Island. We're feeling it all the way up uh, into Bridgeport as well. We go into Monday night. We might see the transition back. I know this has been such a tricky forecast like Alex was talking about. Who sees the rain transition or the snow transition back to rain briefly? I think Long Island's going to be close, all right, as you can see. Um, but by the time we head into Tuesday midday, it all goes back to snowfall. So um, definitely a tricky forecast. But in New York, since we're talking a lot about you, I think it's going to stick to snow, which means you could be one of those bullseye spots. Alex. All right. We're going to face that kind of rain snow line issue in a spot like Boston. That's where we're a little bit more uncertain about just how much snow is going to stack up. Closely watching you because there's just a sharp gradient between where we get into the heavy snow to potentially seeing just a few inches there. So heads up, Boston, uh, one of those situations here where you're right on that edge. Uh, if you're looking for the ton of snow, you could be disappointed or you may be happy. We just got to have to follow how this plays out here as we head on into the early part of the week. Here's what's going to be happening. There's our area of low pressure that will be developing, moving up the coast. And eventually what we'll see is some milder air from the Atlantic begin to nudge its way on into the coast. Now, how far does that milder air make it? That's, that becomes the question because that's where we see that rain snow line start to set up. Better bet as you get into the interior to not get into some of that milder air. And that's where the heavy snow is going to last the longest uh, and add up the most. So for now, this is what it looks like in and around Boston. You can see where you are right on that edge of about dealing with three to four inches. But then it doesn't take you getting too far off towards the west to get into some double digits. So that could shift east or west here as we head on through time. So we'll follow that pretty closely and see how this all sets up. We play it out starting off in the morning hours. Snow coming on in throughout the afternoon. That continues for a few hours. But there you go. You start to notice the purple shades. That's that rain mixing with some snow. That drives on towards the west a bit and starts to take over. In fact, for a time heading into Tuesday morning, you may actually go over to all rain around Boston. Certainly a better shot for dealing with that heading off towards the south and east where temperatures there may even get up into the lower 40s. Now, eventually we'll start to crash back down with those temperatures into the lower 30s and we'll switch back over by Tuesday night to some snow uh, before it all starts to really taper off. So again, right on that edge, we'll be watching you in Boston heading west. I think you have a pretty decent shot of getting into the double digits. Boston for you, again, will be very, very, very close. All right, Jordan, you've got a bit more on some of the impacts with those winds and right along the coast. Yeah, I think that's something we really need to focus on. You guys on the coastal locations, we've been uh, promising some of you some snowfall. Now, the problem with this, we talked about the wind. We could be looking at a little bit of a coastal flooding, all right? And so if we take a look at where that upper level low is, as it moves out on along the uh, the eastern seaboard and into the Atlantic, how much of those surface winds are really going to get sucked in that, uh, that, uh, that vortex or that spinning big old uh, rotating system? And as you can see, we got the big old convergence right off the Jersey Shore with wind speeds 40, 50 miles per hour. I know the storm's down here, but look at Boston, okay? Widespread impacts of a wind-driven event as well, especially right there along the I-95 corridor. This will go all day tomorrow into your Tuesday. In addition, if you look at the, uh, the coastal alerts, specifically when it comes to flooding, the coastal flood warnings include Long Island. Okay, you're in that as well. Tom's River, down the Jersey Shore, Atlantic City, you're in that coastal flood warning. The advisories are going to be in some of the inlets. And as you get a little bit more upriver, upstream, that's where we've got the uh, coastal flood advisory and the coastal flood watches. We have some of those as well. So if you're in any of those locations, just know we're going to be monitoring the water level as, uh, as we track this system, okay? So moderate flood risk for places like Sandy Hook. Uh, we're seeing it in Atlantic City. These are big areas where a lot of people are. Cape May, beautiful summer destination spot. You could get hit with this as well, Alex. So I know that um, anybody on the coast, especially right there on the beach's edge, just needs to make sure that they are aware of those issues. Yeah, absolutely. Right, thanks, Jordan. Well, coming up as we continue to track Winter Storm Orlena, we break down the timing and who is at risk for what could be a long duration snow event. 
That's all when we come back. Okay. Eyesight with pre-collision braking. Standard on the Subaru Ascent. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Get 0% for 63 months on select new 2021 models, now through February 1st. What's my safe flight story? My truck is my livelihood. So when my windshield cracked, the experts at Safe Flight Auto Glass came right to me with service I could trust. Right, girl? Safe flight repair, safe flight replace. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Yay! Great tasting and sure. With 9 grams of protein, 27 vitamins and minerals, and nutrients to support immune health. We made USAA insurance for veterans like Martin. When a hailstorm hit, he needed his insurance to get it done right. Right away. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Hey. hey. Hi. It's time to crack an egg. Easy. Any style egg works. Or a smile. Well done. This looks great. Time to hey, share a story. We have a great way to start our discussion. With old friends or new ones. When you're a caregiver. Time to breathe in. Inhale up. Good job. Then let it all out. Rah! It's never been easier to connect, learn, and have fun. <laughs> Cheers. So let's do it together. Come find us at aarp.org slash near you. You can't put a price on love. But if you did, it'd cost the exact same as a Reese's. Turns out love's kind of inexpensive. Not sorry. Reese's. What if sun-made raisins were just the beginning? A naturally sweet start to a world of delicious flavors like sour candy and s'mores. All from SunMade, and all made with whole fruit. Imagine that! Mmm, it's bountiful grain-free. It's so healthy. Dot farm-raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful grain-free. Out with the grain, in with the farm-raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. How did Kellogg's combine crunchy oat clusters with a touch of honey, plump, juicy raisins, and tasty fiber into one delicious cereal? It took a lot of brandstorming. Get it? Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. Two scoops of delicious. They say it's boring to talk about the weather. I say it's boring not to. Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. My plaque psoriasis. The itching. The burning. The stinging. My skin was no longer mine. My psoriatic arthritis made my joints stiff, swollen, painful. Emerge Tremfiant. With Tremphia, adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis can uncover clearer skin and improve symptoms at 16 weeks. Tremphia is also approved for adults with active psoriatic arthritis. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Tremphia may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, or if you had a vaccine or plan to. Tremphia. Emerge Tremphiant. Janssen can help you explore cost support options. <gasps> Honey. What do you think? <laughs> you love it? A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 24 degrees under cloudy skies. This afternoon, variable clouds with snow showers. High 28, chance of snow 50%. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Three to five inches of snow expected. Here's our seven day outlook.
impossible to think of a place, to picture it in the mind, and not to picture its weather. I'll bet you do it too, maybe without realizing. Seattle, Washington. London, England. Los Angeles, California. See what I mean? Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. You know that whole saying, get into the out there? Well, we're asking you to get into the out there and send us your pictures and your video from Winter Storm Orlena. I know it's cold, I know it's snowy, so get out, have fun, and do it safe, okay? One viewer sent us a picture of her getting into the out there in a, uh, Stan Staunton, Virginia, checking out after uh, getting crushed by Orlena how much snowfall you guys had. 5.8 inches of snow has fallen there, and tonight that snow could uh, change over to freezing rain, which means you got ice problems, right? So keep those pictures and videos coming in. Uh, do it safely. Have fun. Enjoy the storm. It's going to impact a lot of us. Let's go ahead and take a live look where we've been seeing a ton of snow. Chicago, we're going to focus on you for a second. We got storm tracker Charles Peak driving around live right now in some of the Chicago suburbs. Already as much as eight and a half inches have fallen in and around the town as winter storm warnings are still in effect, and that'll still be in effect until 6 p.m. Central tonight. Uh, Hagerstown, Maryland, another live look out outside this uh, afternoon. As you can see, we've got the flakes falling here as well. Pavement there is what looks to be bare, but uh, I'll tell you what, temperatures are definitely cold enough to see it pile up, and those um, folks out and about trying to scrape the roads, keep them clear, are going to be busy all across the eastern part of the country because uh, this is going to continue on for several days. And I know we sound like a broken record, but it's going to be a multi hour storm, in fact, multi-day storm. Here's a look at um, some of those areas I was just showing you. Chicago, I pointed you out. Milwaukee, look at, you got 10 inches. Indianapolis, you almost picked up half of a foot. Looking at another spot, Fort Wayne, 7.6 here. Looking at some other locations, you're up in the 8.2 range. So it looks like a lot of us got a healthy amount, okay? And it's still going. It's moving east very slowly, so we still have uh, flurries falling in Fort Wayne. We've got a mix in Indianapolis. You are one of those border locations in Circle City where it's going to be snow and rain and snow. When this thing backs out and it moves that way, you'll transition back to snow later tonight before it's all said and done, okay? Cincinnati, you're in rain right now, but watch what happens as we move forward. Current time, this afternoon, we go into this evening, watch how the snow tries to work its way farther to the south and kind of blanket places like Lexington, okay? Um, you go into parts of Kentucky, this little area I'm going to highlight here in West Virginia. Let me let me kind of erase this. and Watch what happens as we go in the overnight hours. That rain completely transitions to snowfall, all right? That'll happen by tomorrow morning. So we're all seeing some snow now. It's moving its way to the eastern seaboard. As that happens, we're going to gain some energy or pick up some energy and, and really juicify this thing and bring in good totals for the eastern part of the country. But even here in the Midwest, in places that we've already picked up 10 inches or so, you can add to that. Look, one to three in some of those spots around Columbus, Cleveland, you as well. You get into Pennsylvania. Now we're picking up a little bit more to about uh, half of a foot or more. And uh, even as far south as Nashville. Now, Nashville is not one of our big highlighted cities, but an inch on the ground could definitely cause travel problems, especially as we head into the morning hours. We'll watch this thing move through tomorrow and into your Tuesday morning. Again, if you take a look at the timing, this is tonight. We wake up in the early morning hours tomorrow. I pause it at 2 o'clock. You can see we've got the snowfall. It's going to be light flakes falling, which is why we're only picking up about an inch. But by the time you um, got to get out and about, 7, 8 o'clock, we could still see some residual impacts of that. So just know Nashville could be a truck spot commute-wise early tomorrow morning. Cleveland will give you a couple of inches. We'll average you 2 to 4. You get away from the big old body of water. You get a little bit more action there. And uh, timing on this, again, all of it coming in tonight and then sticking around for several days ahead. All right, Alex, I'll send it your way. All right, so Midwest dealing with it. And eventually, the Northeast will be dealing with it as well. So this is a look at things here throughout the afternoon as the snow really starts to take over, moving its way up the coast. Eventually here later tonight, past midnight or so there, Hartford uh, getting in on some of that snow. And then there you go, getting up towards Boston once we get into that Monday late morning time frame. Now, there's going to be some periods of time here during tomorrow where those snowfall rates, they're going to really start to ramp up, and that's what's going to allow the snow to pile up in these locations. Could be uh, dangerous for travels as well. Take a look at Philadelphia. Your winds could gust tomorrow over 40 miles per hour for a good portion of the day. In fact, starting out in the morning all the way through your uh, evening hours. 40-plus mile-an-hour winds will be possible there for you. And, again, we'll have the snow coming down in that moderate range when it comes to the snowfall rate. So that's not going to be an easy time to try to navigate there in and around the city. You're talking about several inches of snow. Now, you head just north and west. You start to get to double digits. The city itself and south, 
I'd say five to eight will be possible. Certainly a decent amount of snow uh, there in and around Philadelphia. Virtual uh, uh, school ongoing here tomorrow, so no worries about having to get into school, but no snow days uh, either. All right, NYC. 30, 35 mile per hour wind gusts possible throughout your Monday afternoon. And you can see your snowfall rates, they'll get even higher at times, heavy. And so there's not the, uh, the, there's still the possibility we could even deal with blizzard conditions in a spot like New York City. That's one of the spots that may be talking about being in the bullseye of some of the heaviest snows from this system. You can see where we are right there. You had just west, I mean, just west. And you start to get into the 18, 20 plus inch uh, territory heading across Long Island. Still doubles your total shear. And this is despite the fact that some of those areas will actually start to mix in a bit of rain uh, for a period of time. So this is a significant system. I'd certainly say if you're in any of these locations, just say you're going to stay home. Remember, if you don't see me, you're not seeing the most accurate price. Shop at Carfax. You won't have to overpay on a used car again. Dad, time for dinner. Okay, champ. Shop millions of great deals, all with a free Carfax report. Only at the all-new Carfax.com. Our son says since Tide antibacterial fabric spray kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, he wants us to spray everything every time we walk in the door. It's just to be sure. Just to be sure. Tide antibacterial fabric spray. Look at this human trying to get in shape. Ah, you know what he will get? Muscle pain. Give up. The couch is calling. I say it's me, the couch. I'm calling. Pain says you can't. Advil says you can. Thank you for planning such an enriching camping trip for us. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. This will never happen, but this might. I'm not cheering tag bags! Frito-Lay variety packs. Dibs on the Fritos! Packed with possibilities. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Woo! Great tasting and sure. Grams of protein, 27 vitamins and minerals, and nutrients to support immune health. Sometimes you want speedy, but reliable. State-of-the-art, but dependable. In other words, you want a hybrid. That's why they're going hybrid. A hybrid cloud approach with Watson AI helps them roll out new innovations anywhere without losing speed. From telco to transportation, businesses are going with a smarter hybrid cloud using the tools, platform, and expertise of IBM. Good work, little buddy. If your girl loves to shop for clothes, get her the Elite Box at a dot com. A stylist sends her a bunch of outfits to try on at home. Bras, lingerie, PJs. You only pay for what she keeps with free returns. Order before February 14th and get a surprise gift at adoreme.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real fruit and whole grains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing something good for yourself has never been this easy. Kellogg Special K. Do what's delicious. With Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh, it's not just a sandwich. Far from it. It's a reason to come together. It's a taste of something good. A taste we could all use right now. So let's make the most of it and make every sandwich count with Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. All right, we got new video into the weather channel. Unless you're behind a snow plow, not the type of weather you actually want to be out driving in. Thankfully, that snow plow will help you out a little bit. But uh, man, that is whiteout conditions. This is in the Chicago area. Just look at that. We've seen over nine and a half inches of snow. In fact, in some of the uh, uh, suburbs of the metro area of Chicago, we've had reports of 10 plus inches and it's still coming down. 29 past the hour, we got special coverage right now of Winter Storm Orlena and it does continue. Thanks for being with us. I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. Now, after a pretty much snowless winter, uh, how quickly things have changed for our nation's capital here, which could see as much as eight inches uh, from this storm when it is all said and done. So let's get right out to Justin Michaels live there in D.C. Justin, the DMV, looking at some substantial snow this time around after so far yes. the season, only what, three tenths of an inch of being reported there at the uh, at the airport. Uh, yeah, it's almost almost two years ago since we saw one inch.
snow here in the in the DMV. So it's nice for people here in Washington, D.C. to be enjoying a snow day after a long wait here, nearly two years. Let's talk to one of the local meteorologists here with the Washington Post, Matt Capucci. Matt, uh, I, I follow this guy. He puts out some of the best stuff on social media as far as weather goes, that's Thanks. for sure. Great guy. So, Matt, tell me, when you look at this kind of snowstorm, it's been so long. When you look at this, what are you looking for as far as this kind of, this kind of, because it's a long, long-term event. Yeah, honestly, I'm just happy we're finally getting snowfall. We've had 0.7 inches over the past two winters, which I'm from Boston, that's nothing. And yeah. finally, in just about two hours today, we've got more than that. But right now, you'll notice the snow kind of switching over a little bit of, it's like icing and crunchy coming down. The rain snow line starting to meander north down near Fredericksburg right now, about 35 miles south. So honestly, I think we're close to done with snow, maybe a couple hours more, but the time being, I'm just kind of enjoying it. It's nice to finally get some wintry weather here. Yeah, coming from New England, this is fun, right? No kidding. I mean, I had about 108 inches of snow my senior year of high school. We lost like nine days of school. This, comparatively nothing, yeah. but still better than what we've had. Matt Capucci, you're a rock star. I appreciate you coming by. Right, thank thank you, man. Me. We'll talk to you in a second. Uh, so I'll tell you where we are. As opposed to going down to all the craziness that is the National Mall, the Capitol, you know, the Lincoln, Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Memorial, we decided to come here to this beautiful Washington Cathedral right here on Wisconsin Avenue. Of course, this is where we uh, lay presidents to rest. This is where presidents come uh, for church services oftentimes. This is a beautiful piece of Americana and certainly a place that is a really nice thing to see during a snowstorm. So you heard Matt say we have a few more inches to go. And remember, this is a long-term event. So even though it might switch over to some rain this evening, remember, we could absolutely get, a, get more snow tomorrow afternoon and even into Tuesday. But take a look at how much, well, this guy's riding his bike. How you doing? Good. How you, having, are you? you having fun in the snow? Yeah. What's it been like just riding around? This, th things are pretty clear? It's nice. It's nice that everyone's outdoors. And, yeah. Yeah, it's a good know. time in the city, right? Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, as far as him riding his bike and cars on Wisconsin Avenue, guys, it's certainly not too bad here in the DMV. As far as local airports, Reagan, Dulles, everybody's doing just fine right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Guys, into you. You said it. Thank you so much there, Justin. Uh, hoping for things to continue to stay good there on those roads, which seem to be in good shape, at least for now. Now, Orlena, no doubt going to be putting on quite the snow show there for us in the northeast cities like New York, Worcester there in Massachusetts. You got D.C., Philly digging out of heavy snow, and we could be talking about one to two inch per hour snowfall rates with a snowstorm that won't wrap up until Tuesday evening. So, yeah, Jordan, this is not a one and done kind of in and out quickly. We've got some time to have to deal with this thing. Yeah, and the ground is very cold. Looking at Worcester temperatures right now, 17 degrees. And, uh, you know, it's going to be cold enough for immediately see that snow start to accumulate. So we don't have to wait for the ground to cool down for a lot of these locations just because it has been so cold. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, where we're seeing snowfall right now. Uh, we just were looking at Justin Michaels outside of the D.C. area or in the D.C. area where we still have some flakes falling. And as you can see, you got pockets of green kind of around, right? So that mild air trying to kind of work its way a little bit farther to the north. I guess technically you could see it right around here as uh, as the, the rain and the, and the cold air and the snow kind of meet. So we'll be watching that line very, very closely because that line is key. Other locations, New York City, uh, you've got the snow right on the – right on the in your neck of the woods okay it's just on the back side i should say the south side and in places like jersey and it'll be shifting its way through the overnight hours tonight what we're watching is this big high up to the north on the top part of your screen that's going to act like a blocking pattern so the low will sneak underneath that and that high is going to slow it down a little bit even more than it has been so we're looking at an event that's going to be so long when you break it down not only by day but by hours here are the amount of hours you could experience nonstop snowfall. Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, New York, more than 50 hours of straight snow, Alex. Albany, Portland, 30 to 40 hours of snowfall. Bottom line, it's going to be a while before we see this thing go away. That's pretty crazy. All right, well, as we had to break, let's take a look at the forecast there for us in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We started to see the snow earlier today, and we'll be in it for some time, getting a chance to add up here around the city. Now, it looks like west of the city, maybe up to eight inches east of the city, 15, 16, 17 inches. This is what community looks like. Caring for each other. Protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. Where can a healthier heart lead you? For people with heart failure taking Entresto, it may lead to a world of possibilities. 
Entresto helped people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. I'm Norm. I'm Saz. And we live in Columbia, Missouri. We do consulting, but we also write. We take care of ourselves constantly. It's important. We walk three to five times a week, a couple miles at a time. We've both been taking Prevagen for a little more than 11 years now. After about 30 days of taking it, we noticed a clarity that we didn't notice before. It's still helping me. I still notice a difference. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. What's my safe flight story? My truck is my livelihood. So when my windshield cracked, the experts at Safe Flight Auto Glass came right to me with service I could trust. Right, girl? Safe Flight Repair, Safe Flight Replace. This is Hal. This is Hal's heart. It's been broken and put back together. This is Hal's relief, knowing he's covered by Medicare from Blue Cross Blue Shield. And with coverage you can trust, backed by over 80 years of healthcare expertise, we'll be there when it matters most. This is Medicare from Blue Cross Blue Shield. This is the benefit of blue. Hi, I'm Jade, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's new grilled spicy deluxe is the way that the Colby Jack cheese complements the spicy sandwich as it melts. It doesn't overpower the sandwich, but it just goes with the spice. I'm just like, oh. Hey, I'm Will, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A new grilled spicy deluxe is the tenderness of the chicken and the marinade it's made in. You want to kick off your 2021 with a fresh start? This is what you got to have right here. You've got me all excited now. At Domino's, you can carry out three topping pizzas for just $7.99 each. And with Domino's car side delivery, you can conveniently stay in your car while you do it. Just pull up, check in online, and we'll quickly bring your food to you. Thank you. So you don't have to get out to get carry out. Like Denny here. Hey, Hamlin. I like your PJs. PJs? What? Stay in the driver's seat with Domino's car side delivery. Get this. I have my Stouffer's bowl fulls and a fried chicken mashed potato fork full, for which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing, because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> They say it's boring to talk about the weather. I say it's boring not to. Get into the out there, the Weather Channel. Thank you for staying with us as the Weather Channel continues to track winter storm Elena. I'm Justin Michaels live for you in Washington, D.C., right outside of our the National Cathedral, an absolutely stunning building and even more stunning because of the snow that's falling because of this winter storm. So what do we have to look forward to here when it comes to this winter storm and going through the rest of this day into this evening and then into tomorrow and then maybe into Tuesday? Yes, this is a multi-day event. So we do have a little while to go here, but... You know, it's going to switch over to rain for a little bit, then it's going to come back to snow. In total here in the greater Washington, D.C. area, could we get four, maybe six inches of snow? It's certainly possible. As far as how much is snow fall, how much snow has fallen so far, you know, I put my finger down there. It doesn't even take up the whole finger, so not that much. As far as the consistency, it really just kind of wants to fall apart, sticks together a little bit. But as far as making snowballs, maybe this isn't the time to do it. Maybe wait until later today or even into tomorrow afternoon because by around midday tomorrow, the expectation is we could be switching back over to snow. So we'll have to see how the forecast continues to evolve. And as far as where you are, really depends on how much you're gonna get. Remember, north and west, more snow. South and east, less snow. So just be paying attention to those lines and also be paying attention to if it does switch over to some kind of frozen precipitation like ice, uh, as far as sleet, freezing rain, that's where it gets a little iffy on the highways. As far as roads right now, take a look at Wisconsin Avenue. There goes one of the, uh, the, the Metro buses is cruising through. Cars are moving along just fine. And you can see as far as travel goes here in the greater Washington, D.C. area, even the airports are doing just fine, guys. Let's hope it stays that way. Into you.
Yeah, you said it, Justin. Let's just hope it stays that way. Well, no one is safe from the dangers of winter weather, first responders included. And this is in Henrico County there in Virginia, where a fire truck spun out of control and overturned while en route to a call. Now, all four firefighters were able to get out of the truck by themselves and were able were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. But yeah, it can be very, very dangerous here, again, for all on those roads Got to take it slow uh, for sure. All right, let's take a look at what we've got right now. The shield of precipitation that extends from the East Coast all the way back into the Midwest. It seems like it's been snowing forever in Chicago. That continues there, will continue for the day, sliding away down into parts of the Ohio Valley. That's where you get into more rain and then pick up in that snow from the mid-Atlantic moving northbound. It's getting a little bit closer here to where that snow continues to fall here across southeastern portions of the state of Pennsylvania. We've got uh, Lancaster there. Winds gusting close to 40 miles per hour. Ooh, yeah, that's a tough time there, no doubt about it, with temperatures stuck in the 20s. So a windy, snowy time showing up there. Take it slow, take it easy. All right, here's some of the delays at the airports. Not seeing a whole lot, exception, yeah, Chicago, trying to head in and out of O'Hare. It's going to be a tough time there. Earlier today, we had ground stops that were in place for both Midway and O'Hare. Now what we're dealing with is just the delays that are approaching three hours here for you. So that's a, a tough time. Winds around, right around 20 miles per hour, and you're seeing the visibility down right around a mile or so there. All right, let's work our way off towards the east. Right now, not much issue here to deal with here along the uh, 95 corridor. Those big hubs from Boston down towards D.C. As Justin mentioned, the hubs around D.C. looking pretty good. And that continues to remain the case. That's a good scenario. But by tomorrow, that may change. At least the forecast calling for a number of uh, uh, problems. These high impact issues here for us up and down the East Coast. Again, not just looking for travel issues at the airports, but also on the roads. 95 is going to be a tough, tough zone. And through the areas working westbound along Interstate 80 through Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, that's going to be a tough time to travel throughout the day. And again, it's not just in and out. Lunchtime, we're still seeing the snow. And as we get towards dinner time, we're still talking about snow issues here. And look at all the reds that are showing up. That's indicating where basically you just don't want to be out there traveling with the wind plus the snow. It's going to be very, very difficult to do so. And Jordan, you've got a bit more on what we may expect to deal with in terms of some of those winds and some of the issues along the coast. Yeah, we could be looking at some flood situations on the coastal locations. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you to East Hampton, New York. As you can see, it looks quite Quite nice, to say the least. The calm before the storm, everything looking pleasant. You got little waves out there in the distance. Very peaceful. Uh, the snow is going to add to the peacefulness, but the problem is the wind is going to cause a big problem because we're talking about the coastal flooding and just how fast those winds are going to be cranking out there along the beaches. So it's all in associated, association with how Orlina uh, really begins to mold, all right? So it's been traversing across the country, working its way from the Great Lakes, and now moving into the Northeast. As it moves off into the Atlantic, we're going to gain some strength and some men momentum here, but we're going to keep it slow movement. So notice the isobars, the lines of equal pressure. They're tightly wound, right? They're really close together, and that's what's going to help bring in a lot of those winds. If you take a look as we go into this afternoon, a lot of us relatively calm. You got a little bit of a breeze happening in Atlantic City, but it picks up overnight tonight. All right, and we're talking widespread wind now spreading all up and down the eastern seaboard. As you can see, we go into the 5 o'clock afternoon hour into tomorrow, and we're still feeling it outside along the Cape, New York City. All right. 35, 40 mile per hour gusts. Atlantic City could see gusts up to 50. So that's possible. You got to also watch how much water is going to be thrown up because now we could be looking at some coastal situations when it comes to the flooding. All right, coastal flood warnings right now, as you can see up and down the Jersey Shore, Long Island, you're included in this and some of that touches New York City along the, the coast there. Uh, you also have it in some of the bigger deltas, all right, where the, the tributaries, where all the rivers come out. So that could be uh, potentially an impact for you folks as well. And so uh, just be on alert. If you're out there along the coast, that is a big threat as this storm moves through. All right, Alex, over to you. All right, we had uh, westbound and a check in on South Bend, Indiana, where we had some of that snow begin basically last evening and we're still finding the snow around. You can see some of the totals around there for us. Three, four, up to even eight inches in a few locations. When you're through with powering through, it's time for Theraflu, hot liquid medicine. Powerful relief so you can restore and recover. Theraflu, hot beats cold. All right, I brought in Ensure Max Protein to give you the protein you need with less of the sugar you don't. I'll take that. 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Ensure Max Protein with nutrients to support immune health. Life doesn't give you many second chances. 
Subaru can. You guys okay? Eyesight with pre-collision braking. Standard on the Subaru Ascent. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Get 0% for 63 months on select new 2021 models, now through February 1st. Sarah, did you know GEICO could save you hundreds on car insurance and a whole lot more? Hmm. So what are you waiting for? Captain Ahab to help you find a parking spot? Fire, she blows! Whoop! Loading zone, darn it. Pull hard to starboard! Too small! Seriously? Because it... Oh, follow him! Steady, steady. No! Oh. Thunderation to the northern lot, where there be parking spaces as big as whales. Geico, see all the ways you could save. An after-school pickup that doesn't let her down. Warming their hearts in the middle of a blizzard. Playing welcome wagon to your favorite person on earth. Never missing a single goal. Despite the weather, Despite the storms, Bosch high-performance windshield wipers handle the harshest conditions to help you reach life's important moments. See what matters most with Bosch. Hi, I'm a new customer and I want your best new smartphone deal. Well, I'm an existing customer and I'd like your best new smartphone deal. Who do you? Actually, it's for both new and existing customers. <laughs> I feel silly. <laughs> But I do want the fastest 5G network. Oh, I want the fastest 5G network. Are we actually doing this again? It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives everyone the same great deal. Like the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free when you trade in. Hey, Paula. Hi, John. I hear your interior design firm has been having some internet issues. We do a lot of online design consultations and our internet lags. A lot. It makes for very frustrated clients. You should switch to Spectrum Business. You get fast internet at a great low price. 200 megabits per second for $49.99 a month. You can add business phone for $19.99 a month. That is half of what we pay now. Until they add in the hidden fees. Spectrum Business has no hidden fees. What you see is what you pay. Call 855-344-4144. Okay, wait, it has to be reliable. Spectrum Business has over 99.9% .9 network reliability. And you can add wireless internet backup for constant connectivity, even if the power goes out. Ooh. All right, that's impressive. What's even more impressive is the value. 200 megabits per second for $49.99 a month and add business phone for just $19.99 a month. Call 855-344-4144 today. The cloud in this picture. Look closely. I'll give you a second. Did you find it here? Excellent job. That water holds future clouds. Sun's working on it as we speak. Get into the out there, the Weather Channel. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 25 degrees with snow showers. This afternoon, variable clouds with snow showers. High 28, chance of snow 50%. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Three to five inches of snow expected. Here's our seven day outlook. Thank you for staying with us live here on the Weather Channel. I'm Justin Michaels, and we are tracking Winter Storm Orlena. Here we are. Washington, D.C. is the city we're in right now, and you can see the National Cathedral is looking beautiful in the snowstorm right now. Uh, we've had about maybe two and a half to three inches of snow here right outside along Wisconsin Avenue, and you can see that's really having no impact on the roads. The roads are doing just fine, and that's some good news. Let's hope it stays that way. With the snow emergency in place here in Washington, D.C., Mayor Muriel Bowser 
Bowser, of course, opens up funds and opens up resources to make sure there are as many crews out as possible. And I can tell you, when you're talking about Montgomery County, which is just over the line into Maryland, there are more than 300 crews doing nothing but salting and plowing to make sure Wisconsin Avenue and other roads can stay that way, guys. So, uh, Jordan, uh, so far, so good when it comes to Orlena. Let's hope it stays that way. But we do know this is a long-term event. We're probably going to be dealing with this through Tuesday. Oh, Jordan, yeah. That's why we're thinking this could be such a big producer for folks like right there in D.C. I know D.C. at one point, just in the forecast, was having you guys right in the bullseye. And then you get just a little movement from that low, and now it seems the bullseye is going to be just north of you. So I still think you're going to pick up several inches, but you won't be completely buried, which, you know, could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. I know you love the snow, so we'll get caught up with you in just a minute. Thank you so much for the update. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Great Lakes. The reason why is because I just kind of want to show you how massive of a storm this is, all right? Justin's in D.C. We're having snow beginning to pop up in New York, and yet it's still coming down in Milwaukee, in Chicago, all right? Fort Wayne, Indiana. You got a ton of snow. In fact, you guys are picking up or getting close to 10 inches now. So as we go ahead and take a look at the uh, what happens as we move forward, uh, places like Indianapolis, Columbus, I want to show you as we, as we move forward into the overnight hours tonight, what could be considered as rainfall right now will transition over to snow in the next couple of hours. All right, so we go into tonight. It all moves into snow. Same thing for West Virginia. Rain transitions to snow. That line continues to work its way through places like Roanoke. You can maybe see a little bit more. Uh, and then, of course, the big, big places like D.C., like Baltimore, uh, like uh, Jersey, uh, New York. I mean, I can list all these. Boston, I mean, I can keep going, but you, you see what I'm talking here. The Appalachian chain's going to see some of this. Look at Nashville. Look how far south, okay? I mean, Nashville, you're not going to get hammered, but you could see maybe an inch or so. All right, look at this. We'll focus on your city while I'm talking about it. This storm is going to move through tonight and early tomorrow. You wake up and you could be kind of dusting off your windshield with uh, with some snowfall. So just know that that is on the way. Could be uh, hitting you overnight. And like I said, you head out the door tomorrow. Know the roads could be a little slick. I don't think we're going to see much in the accumulation on the surfaces itself, Alex, but uh, we'll definitely see some on grassy surfaces and tops of cars. There you go. Well, winter storm Orlena crushing parts of Illinois. This is some video from Vernon Hills. It's about 40 miles, uh, 40 minutes, I say, north and west of Chicago. Orlena put down over seven inches of snow there in Vernon Hills, and we've seen reports of around nine and a half inches around Chicago. So yeah, it did its thing there in the Midwest, and now it's going to transition and do its thing in the Northeast, potentially bringing in blizzard conditions. That is a possibility. Cannot rule that out as the system really starts to crank up here just off the coast, moving north and eastbound from there, really filling in here with the wind shear. In fact, uh, right now, it looks like uh, according to the National Weather Service office there in New York City, they're saying that there's the possibility that they could issue some blizzard warnings. Not out of the question, could be looking at that from coastal portions, coastal uh, Connecticut, uh, western Long Island, and there into New York City. So big heads up. So what is a blizzard? There's actually criteria that needs to be met. You've got to have winds, either sustained or frequent gusts that are at least 35 miles per hour. You also need visibility to come down to under a quarter of a mile. And all that has to happen for at least three hours. Now, if it only happens for two hours, guess what? It's not it's officially a blizzard. Now, for you, if you're in it, it would be, right? At least it feels like it, but officially it would not be considered a blizzard. Snowfall amount does not matter. Temperature does not matter. And geographical location does not matter either when it comes to qualifying as a blizzard. You see how the winds will start to get going here heading into your Monday morning. Crank, cranking up Atlantic City, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. 35 to 40 showing up there for you around New York City. So there's going to be a period of time, and there's NYC, the top of your screen showing you those wind gusts getting up over 35 miles per hour at times with snowfall rates that'll be heavy. It is not going to be an easy time to do any kind of traveling. Jordan? Yeah, there's your blizzard-like conditions right there. All right, you guys, uh, we've been talking a lot about snowfall. I know we've got some rain down in the south as well, but Winter Storm Orlena is continuing to trek its way across the country, giving you a snapshot of the radar for those folks in the south right now. As you can see, Raleigh, Wilmington, all the way down through South Carolina, Atlanta, most of the rainfall has positioned its way just to your south now. Uh, and if we look at tonight, we got a chance to maybe even see a little bit of uh, isolated severe components out of this uh, around the uh, western side of Florida and up into portions of Jacksonville. So we'll watch that line of storms come crashing through tonight, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, and of course it then transitions down past Tampa, through Orlando, and then working its way into Naples and eventually Miami by the time we go into the morning tomorrow. So watch out for some damaging winds as that storm blows through. All right, more coverage. Keep it here. We'll be right back. This is the truck that never stops working. 
with a new tailgate work surface and power for your own. Frito Lay variety packs. Dips on the Fritos. Packed with pasta. The Dish Voice Remote has Google Assistant, which allows you to control all sorts of things, like the lights. Dim the lights. And the door. Lock the door. And of course, your TV. Resume moving. What it can't control? A keen snack radar. Yeah. The Dish Voice Remote with Google Assistant. Dish. Tuned in to you. Get this, I have my Stouffer's bowl fulls and a fried chicken mashed potato fork full, for which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing, because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh! Mmm, <laughs> that's bountiful grain-free. It's so healthy. Dot farm-raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm. Here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful Grain Free. Out with the grain, in with the farm-raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, Beneful. If you have postmenopausal osteoporosis and a high risk for fracture, now might not be the best time to ask yourself, are my bones strong? Life's full of make or break moments. That's why it's so important to help reduce your risk of fracture with Prolia. Only Prolia is proven to help strengthen and protect bones from fracture with one shot every six months. Do not take Prolia if you have low blood calcium, are pregnant, are allergic to it, or take Exgeva. Serious allergic reactions like low blood pressure, trouble breathing, throat tightness, face, lip, or tongue swelling, rash, itching, or hives have happened. Tell your doctor about dental problems as severe jawbone problems may happen or new or unusual pain in your hip, groin, or thigh as unusual thigh bone fractures have occurred. Speak to your doctor before stopping, skipping, or delaying Prolia as spine and other bone fractures have occurred. Prolia can cause serious side effects like low blood calcium, serious infections, which could need hospitalization skin problems, and severe bone, joint, or muscle pain. Don't wait for a break. Call your doctor today and ask about Prolia. Mom, I can't find Mr. Quaggo. Mom's in York mode right now. She's enjoying yummy dark chocolate and refreshing peppermint. Mom is back. The York you love, just there. <sighs> Good afternoon, everybody. Our special edition and our special coverage of Winter Storm Orlena continues. And after blanketing the Midwest with a ton of snow, the major storm is now poised to batter the East Coast with more heavy snow and strong winds. Uh, we are uh, just now, or thank you for joining us, I should say. Let's uh, welcome you in here. If you're just now, and I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. Now this winter storm bringing in the nation's capital its first true taste of winter. The mayor declaring a snow emergency going through Tuesday. And that's where we find our very own uh, Justin Michaels. And, and Justin, I mean, we're talking several inches of snow. We out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, you know, nothing so far for the last couple seasons. Think about this. The last time we can go back to that had any kind of snow here in Washington, D.C., and wait for it, was only about an inch, was February 19th of 2019, almost two years ago. So the fact that we could get four, maybe six, maybe eight inches of snow, depending on where you are, right around Washington, D.C., yes, this is a good snowstorm, especially if you love the snow. If you don't, you're probably staying inside uh, because this could be a little bit of a mess. And people here in D.C., it depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from the north, you love the snow. Coming from the south, you want it to go away. I love it because it's the north. I'll tell you who else loves it is Tommy and Chance. Full disclosure, these are good friends of mine, and I can't get my mask on. These are good friends of mine. Now, Chance loves the snow. Tommy, you're from Erie, Pennsylvania, so tell me, when you're, when you're talking about a few inches of snow, this is nothing like what you're used to. Nothing like I'm in, uh, used to, but I do like, it's nice that in the district to actually finally get a snow day, Yeah. because they don't have to happen too often, but uh, when they come, uh, we all enjoy it. You always said to me when I was moving down here, you know, this is kind of like a snow hole. Yeah, so, it's know, either hit or miss. Yeah. So I always like when it hits. I know it kind of shuts down the city, but it is nice just to kind of pause and enjoy it. Very good. And for Chance, it's a good day. Ch Chance <laughs> is paying attention to something else right now. Hey, he guys, thanks it. for coming by. Not a problem. All right. So, you know, uh, again, we're going to get a few inches of snow here. It's going to switch over to some rain, guys, as you well know. But tomorrow, 
We're probably going to start back up with some snow again, maybe around midday before it finishes sometime Tuesday morning. So like we've been saying, Orlena is a long term event. And again, for those snow lovers like Chance and Tommy, this is a good thing. Oh, totally. Justin, thank you so much. And I know that uh, just hearing your interview the last time with all those folks who have just been waiting patiently for a good old storm system to move through. It's been a couple of years, but this could be it. I know we're still watching some flakes kind of hover around the D.C. area. If you look at where the alerts are right now, they're all over the place. From Chicago down into Lexington, Kentucky, part of the Appalachians between Tennessee and uh, North Carolina, all the way up into D.C. Now, the bullseye, uh, it's hard not to, to have your eye drawn right into where the bullseye is, right? That bright pink stands out at you 18 to 24 inches could be hovering right around nyc so alex i know as we uh, watch this storm system kind of move its way into the eastern seaboard uh, we're going to see those snow rates pick up and uh, it could just sit there for quite some time yeah it is really going to be like that uh, pesky a uh, neighbor or cousin that comes over and doesn't leave it's going to be with us for some time now 62 million under winter storm warnings here are with those uh, a warning stretching from the midwest to the northeast Maryland Department of Transportation deploying 370,000 tons of rock salt to treat the roads. New York City, well, could see its biggest snowstorm in more than five years with over a foot of snow possible. That would be the biggest snowstorm since winter storm Jonas in 2016. So, yeah, this thing means business. And, Jordan, you've got a bit more on what it's doing right now. Yeah, we've already seen the snowblowers out in full action in places like the Chicago area, all the way up into Milwaukee. We're still seeing snow for you guys. As you can see, it's kind of working its way Easter, uh, eastward, and now we're starting to begin to uh, see that blue line cross over into places like New York City. So let's kind of zoom in here and show you what we're looking at. Um, Milwaukee, Chicago, you got the snowfall. Springfield, Illinois, all the way down into uh, Indianapolis. I know it's been close. We've been watching that, that transition of snow and, and, and rain. But uh, where we have the snow, it's been coming down. I mean, look at this. Plainfield. Almost a foot of snow in your neck of the woods. That's the storm report we got. Uh, Libertyville at 8 inches here. I know we've got around 8 to 10 inches hovering all around the Windy City. New Haven, more than 7. Fort Wayne, you've been picking up on the 8-inch side as well. And if you look at current conditions in Chicago right now, the wind coming out of the northeast at 20 miles per hour. Direction and the wind flow is key because that's a colder wind. You've got those gusts upwards to 30. Visibility is down to a mile or less, all right? So that snow could be going sideways at times. If we uh, position our way, a little bit farther east. Now we're looking at D.C. We're looking at Baltimore. We're looking at Philadelphia. Um, you get uh, places like Delaware covered with snowfall right now. Looking at your temperatures, definitely cold enough all over the place for snowfall, even all the way out towards the, uh, the, uh, the beaches here along Long Island and uh, the Jersey Shore. But if you look at New York, okay, looks like we've got snowfall. The blue has moved over NYC, but we're not really seeing any snow coming down, right? Our icon here is clouds, and that's because the dew point is still in the like 10 to 12 degree range. And the drier the dew point, the colder the dew point, the drier the atmosphere is. So the snow might be coming down on radar, but then it evaporates before it hits the surface. We need to wait a little bit more time before we see the snow actually move into New York City. But it's coming. As you can see, we got the alerts up right now for you to show you that this is going to be here for quite some time. Alex. All right. Well, you know, it took almost until February, but D.C. finally seeing some accumulating snow and it is going to pile up. We've already seen a bit of that. Let's get on back out to Justin Michaels there in the nation's capital. And uh, Justin seems like folks are kind of taking this in stride and, in fact, enjoying it because it's been so long since we've seen some significant snow. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is, Alex. I think people are really kind of just taking this in because it has been so long, nearly two years since we had just one inch of snow here in Washington, D.C. And out of this storm, could we get four, six, eight inches? Certainly more to the north and west, less to the south and east, uh, but still a multi-inch storm event. And that's a good thing for people, especially who love the snow. Now, follow me over here. What kind of snow are we talking about out here in front of the nation's national cathedral? Absolutely beautiful. It's not a great snow. As far as my, hey, I'll tell you what, it's it's compacting a little better than before. In fact, this has changed quite a bit. That's a that's an award-winning snowball right there. So this is the time of the day to get outside. If you're a kid, if you're a parent of some kids, send them out to the front yard and let them have a good time making some snowmen and some snowball fights. This is the time to do it. Because I will tell you, maybe about an hour ago, hour and a half ago, I tried to make a snowball and it kept falling apart in my hands. You got it? Like a man, see, it stayed together. It stayed together. So, uh, Matt behind the lens there. Hey, Matt, let me see that ball again. See, that's a good looking ball. See? Just kidding. Just kidding. Just, just kidding. <laughs> um, so, yeah, today's the time to have a good snowball fight. But in all seriousness, this is also a day to 
maybe be a little careful in the roads. We do know Wisconsin Avenue is looking pretty well. Sidewalks not looking too bad along Wisconsin either. And that's some good news. But there is a snow emergency here in Washington, D.C. Muriel Bowser, the mayor of D.C., issued that starting this morning. And because this is such a long-term event, it doesn't expire until Tuesday morning. So just make sure you're using caution on the roads and the sidewalks as you're moving around. And as far as timing, uh, just remember this. It's going to switch over to rain, but don't let that be a little bit of false sense that the storm is going to be ending. It's going to switch over to rain tonight and then switch back to snow during the day tomorrow before it finally comes to an end sometime Monday and even into Tuesday. So just be very careful as you're headed out. The good news is because of COVID, many people are still telecommuting. And that means they're going to be staying home. And that really is the best place you can be when it comes to a snowstorm. Of course, look at it out your window. Look at all the beautiful sights like we have here in D.C. with the National Cathedral. I mean, that just is a stunning building. Of course, it's where we lay our presidents to rest and uh, many other uh, notable people in our shared history. John McCain, this is where his funeral was, guys. Uh, so, again, a very important building when it comes to uh, our nation's history and heritage. And what do we have, another snowball? Yeah, let's see. It's a good-looking snowball, right, guys? So, so so you guys, uh, Alex, you guys need to come out here and we can have the war that we were talking about about two hours ago because that is a perfect snowball. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not frightened, though. I'm not frightened. Not Let's bad, he says. It. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. You get out here. Just get out here. We'll take care of that. Not bad. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. <laughs> Mr. All, right. From the South. All right, Justin, we'll check back with you in a bit there. Uh, grab a few more st snowballs. We'll be out there in just a bit. All right, here's what it looks like here as we head through to tomorrow, or at least the earlier part of the week. There's our low pressure system that's going to be moving up the coast, flinging back that moisture from the Atlantic into the colder air. And that's where we'll see the snow really start to crank up. You're already seeing some of the snow uh, right now moving its way up through from parts of the mid Atlantic and into southern portions of New England. Not quite filling in just yet in NYC, but that's going to take shape uh, pretty soon. Still finding some rain back towards the west. It's kind of the initial precipitation associated with the system that was moving its way across the Midwest. But what's going to start to happen is we'll see energy get transferred and a new low starts to develop. And that is the one that's going to be the one that takes over as we start to move into tomorrow uh, morning. There it goes, cranking up now across the coast. Notice there is going to be some rain. Eastern parts of Maryland up into Delaware, southern parts of uh, Jersey here, at least uh, for the initial time period. Getting through the day on Monday, we will start to bring in some chillier air, and some of that cold air may try to work its way down towards the shore, Jersey Shore. And so some of those areas go back over to some snow, maintaining all snow around NYC. Boston, that's one of those locations that's right on the edge. You may for some time deal with a little rain mixing with the snow, and that may cut down on the totals. You're right on that edge. You hit just west double digits. The city itself, at least right now, maybe five to eight, somewhere in that range. But no doubt the bullseye right now seems to be northern parts of New Jersey, getting into eastern Pennsylvania, a southern uh, New York, even around New York City. How about 18 to 24 inches of snow? That's significant snowfall that we're going to have to deal with here. And Jordan, you've got a bit more on the specific oh, issues we'll deal with there. This is going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and just take a live look right now so we can get a good picture of the before because... Give it not even 12 hours. Conditions are going to change quick. Could be the biggest snowstorm in over five years, you guys, in NYC. All right. If this forecast verifies, it's one for the numbers. Uh, we're going to be talking over a foot and a half. You saw maybe up to 24 inches in a couple of spots. This is going to be all the way through Tuesday night. So it's going to start tonight, and it will not let up until Tuesday, which means all day tomorrow you're going to have snow. In fact, most of the day Tuesday you could have snow before this thing kind of wraps up and leaves out of here. So it'll be uh, fun. If you're a snow enthusiast, I think you're going to like it. Just looking at some of the bigger storms we've had over the last couple of years, right? I mean, you think you go all the way back to 2016, 2017, the biggest storm we had happened this year. All right. We had winter storm Gale that brought 10 plus inches to uh, Central Park. Um, we had a couple of storms that brought nine to 10 inches as well. But you got to go all the way back to 2015 when we had the quote unquote doozy of a storm, which I think this could be 2016. It could be the uh, do doozy of a storm as well when you have numbers like this. So if this forecast verifies is a very healthy snow pattern for us locally with that pink sitting right overhead, right in the mix of NYC, you go out on 490. 95 into Long Island, you're getting it all the way out as well, okay, even on the beaches. So we're going to be looking at uh, a really good snow event for everybody. Here's a look at current temperatures. Notice no snow yet in New York City. That's going to change probably within the next hour or so. you got Morristown, Linden, Somerville, all of you have got flakes, okay, and it's moving from west to east, so it's all coming into your direction. The wind will be picking up overnight, all right, and the wind gusts could top out 
35, 45 miles per hour, definitely not out of the question. Looks like forecast numbers have 50 right here in New York. Massapequa, you got a 60 mile per hour gust potentially as we go into your Monday evening. You go into Tuesday morning. Now the wind is still there. We're starting to see some mild air trying to work its way in, but it doesn't last, all right? When you talk about the battle of the, uh, the, the cold air mass, I think the cold air mass will win out. Even if you do get a little transition, it'll go back to snow before it's done as long as that low stays in its current track. Because anything, anytime that moves, it'll fluctuate all of this. So once again, here are your numbers around New York City. It's going to be pretty to see that live camera, Alex, when we get all that snow on the ground. Oh, yeah, it's going to be such an incredible scene. Meanwhile, Boston, a little bit more uncertain about just how much it's going to stack up here. Closely watching you because it's a really sharp gradient between going from hefty snows, double digits to uh, just a few inches. And that's what we are anticipating here for us in and around the city. So, yeah, this is one of those spots that is going to be critical in, in seeing where all that uh, milder air kind of works its way westbound. How far inland does it make its way? That's going to determine how much snow we see uh, there in Boston. Here's the big picture here for us. Now, the interior zones, that's where we think as Jordan mentioned, the cold air is going to win out. We're not going to see the mild air make its way on into uh, parts of uh, Pennsylvania, northern Jersey, a uh, good chunk of New York State. That's where the heavy snow will remain. But it's these areas right along the coast. That's where it gets a little trickier here as that milder air from the Atlantic starts to move on in. And that's what's re erodes some of the colder air and changes us over from the snow to more of a rain and snow mix. And in some cases, may even just go over to all plain old rain. There's the forecast in Boston. And right now we're calling for, it looks like the city, I'd say six, maybe seven inches. That's actually been updated a bit. So it's starting to get coming in line here with maybe that colder air winning out a little more around Boston. But certainly as you work your way westbound, now we're talking about those double digits getting up over a foot that's going to be possible so let's play this out we'll start you off early in the morning the snow starting to come on in and that fills in throughout the day and then as we get in towards the afternoon there you can see some of these areas southeastern portions of massachusetts getting into more rain and snow and then all rain as we start to move into your tuesday morning so that's going to be around for a period of time cutting down on some of the totals while farther west the snow lingers the longest and that's why we think we'll see again over a foot in those locations winding down once we start to work our way on into the evening so again, Boston right now, we're on the edge, six or seven inches of snow farther to the south. Hartford, pretty good bet we'll be getting into the heavier totals there. Look as you head west of the city, maybe 16, 17 inches of snow will be possible now. It's pretty quiet now. The sun is out. Chilly conditions. We're sitting right now in the lower 20s, but as that snow begins to roll on in, heading into Monday morning, we'll be in the thick of things there for a good portion of your Monday. Southern portions of Connecticut coastal areas here get into some rain for a period of time before we transition back to some snow as we get into Tuesday late in the afternoon and into the evening hours there. Tapering off once we get to Wednesday, uh, at least into the morning hours. But that's an area we're going to watch pretty closely there. Coastal areas off towards the east where we change over just a bit and may cut down some of those totals. But Jordan, you're looking at the uh, winds because those are going to crank up as well. Yeah, we talked about gusts maybe getting as high as 50 plus miles per hour for some of your coastal locations. So let's highlight that and show you the wind for as we head into tonight, Atlantic City, you're one of the first locations to really get the bulk and the bulk of the energy here. As you can see, those 40 and 50 mile per hour gusts that's going to work its way up the I-95 corridor, hitting places like Boston, Cape May. And you know what? That wind is going to be cranking going into your Monday. And for some of you, it'll just pick up throughout the day. Now, a big problem here is going to be coastal flooding. All right. Atlantic City, Tom's River, all along the Jersey Shore, Long Island included in this, Staten Island, all the way down into uh, Selbyville. You, you, most of you have the warning in effect, which means we're likely to see flood issues as this storm really begins to uh, mold as we head into tomorrow. We'll be right back. Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. <gasps> right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull her home back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Introducing Volterran Arthritis Pain Gel, the first full prescription strength non-steroidal anti-inflammatory gel available over the counter. Volterran is powerful arthritis pain relief in a gel. Volterran, the joy of movement. These are both satisfying snacks. At 30 calories, V8 is surprisingly filling.
you can have yogurt for 30 calories too. But the portion might be a little less satisfying. V8, the original plant-powered drink. Veg up. Last year when people were going hungry, Subaru and our retailers donated 50 million meals to Feeding America. And yet, one in four children may still face hunger. So as part of our love promise, Subaru and our retailers are doing it again, donating an additional 100 million meals to help those in need. Love, it's never been needed more than right now. Subaru, more than a car company. Since retirement, I've been trying a lot of new things. With Frank's Red Hot, it's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Like me. And it's great on all the recipes I've mastered. I put that on everything. Real fruit and whole grains. Doing something good for yourself has never been this easy. Kellogg Special K. Do what's delicious. At Southern New Hampshire University, we're committed to making college more accessible by making it more affordable. That's why we're keeping our tuition the same through the year 2021. I knew SNHU was the place for me when I saw how affordable it was. I ran to my husband with my computer and I said, look, we can do this. Take advantage of some of the lowest online tuition rates in the nation. Find your degree at snhu.edu. Okay, everyone. Our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Great tasting and sure. With 9 grams of protein, 27 vitamins and minerals, and nutrients to support immune health. They say it's boring to talk about the weather. I say it's boring not to. Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. There is a killer out there. This is awesome. There's something wrong with that mask. Who even are you? Harry Vanderspiegel. Just a normal human. <laughs> Resident Alien, Wednesdays at 10 on Sci-Fi. Set your DVR. Test drive a BMW at your Tri-State BMW Center or visit us at tristatebmw.com for details on exceptional offers. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Hey, you brought some brats, huh? What if the store took back all the brats you didn't eat at the end of the month the way some wireless companies take back your data? That would be weird. Track Phone Wireless gives you unlimited carryover data, so if you pay for brats, you get to keep your brats. You also get unlimited talk and text on America's best 4G LTE networks for 20 bucks, no contract. Wow, that's great. Yeah, hit, hit decline, I don't wanna to talk to her. Hit me, get me. This is your wake up call, people. Track Phone Wireless, now you're in control. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 28 degrees with snow showers. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Three to five inches of snow expected. Monday, snow along with gusty winds at times, high 36. Here's our seven day outlook. It's impossible to think of a place to picture it in the mind and not to picture its weather. I'll bet you do it too, maybe without realizing. Seattle, Washington. London, England. Los Angeles, California. See what I mean? Get into the out there, the Weather Channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you to get into the out there. And of course, we want you to send us your photos and your videos. As we track Winter Storm Orlena, already very appreciative of all the uh, photos and videos we've been getting. But now that this thing is moving into the Northeast, we're hoping to get a lot more. Tina Stafford sent us this photo from Suffolk, Virginia, with the caption, 
Hot tub calling for bonfire. Oh, yeah. A little less than an inch for Suffolk from uh, Winter Storm Orlena. And that snow is done for you. So enjoy either the hot tub time or the bonfire itself or both. Remember to keep sending us those pictures of uh, Winter Storm Orlena if you guys can do so safely. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Get the bonfire raging. Put yourself in the hot tub and just enjoy. All right? I know the snow's not going to be coming down, but... Tell you what, that's what I'd be doing right now if I could. But you know what? I am going to be doing what I can while I'm here and informing you guys about the big old snowstorm that we're about to get if you have yet to see some of that snow move in. For those of you that have, places like Chicago, Milwaukee, picking up good snowfall totals, half of a foot to a foot in a lot of these locations. Indianapolis, you're on that like transition zone where you've seen snow and rain and could see snow again before it's all said and done. Same thing for Columbus. Taking a look at where we're seeing snow right now, you are seeing snow in Indianapolis, all right? 34 degrees, and you're literally that right there on that border transition line on I-70. So interesting uh, air mass right outside of your neck of the woods, and that snow will be shifting its way south. So the southern part of Indiana, you're going to see some snow out of this before it's done. Same thing for the south part of Ohio. I know Columbus has got some flurries, but it'll push into West Virginia, and then we're all seeing snow by the early morning hours tomorrow morning. All right? And since it's such a slow mover, we're looking at good totals, especially as we pick up some energy from the Atlantic. And as that happens, the northeast is one, one of those spots that could really get hit pretty good. Also, I got to remind you folks, the Appalachian chain, all right? Those mountains all the way down outside of Knoxville and outside of Asheville could look pretty good if you want to take your kids up there and enjoy some skiing. I think we could get another half of a foot or so in those higher peaks, but uh, all for the other locations, I'm thinking one to three, maybe three to five in addition to the snowfall. Nashville, I'll keep you around an inch, so just kind of like the snow, you get out and have to dust off the car in the morning because the timing here, Alex, if we take you through the progression, it'll start overnight tonight in Nashville, and when you wake up, you might still see a few lingering flakes before it completely pushes out of here. So again, totals will probably be closer to about an inch. You could see a couple of spots, maybe a little bit more than that. Cleveland, more on your side. Three to four inches seems to be the widespread average. And uh, I think it'll be pretty much all snow for you, um, especially getting just off the lake shore there. But uh, we'll even see some right there in the heart of the city, which uh, will be interesting. A lot of us going to be impacted by winter storm Orlena. Alex, over to you. Yeah, a lot, a lot of folks you said are pretty widespread indeed. So let's follow this now because it will be working its way into the northeast. We're already seeing some snow, but it'll really start to fill in as we move in through tonight and into tomorrow. Getting up into Hartford uh, there in Connecticut, a good chunk of Rhode Island. Eventually Massachusetts it starts to take over. And we'll be seeing an area here, particularly in this zone, where we could be talking about some pretty intense snowfall rates and that's going to allow the snow to really add up. We'll take you city by city. We'll start you off looking in on Scranton, Pennsylvania. And as we head into Monday, we'll call it late morning, early afternoon. You see how the snowfall rates start to climb into the moderate range close to heavy. So we'll deal with that for a couple of hours before it starts to come down a bit by the time we get into at least that Monday night time frame. But it's going to get a chance to add up. There's Scranton right there. You're smack dab in the middle of that purple. That's about 15 inches or so of snow. You had just to the south and the east, and now we start talking getting up over, yeah, 20 inches of snow. So really starts to add up. And, of course, that could fluctuate. You could get into 20 around Scranton. Certainly not out of the question. So just be prepared for that kind of snow uh, to add up. Providence there in Rhode Island, here's what you can expect. Top of your screen showing you those winds. That'll be pretty gusty at times, getting close to 40 mile per hour wind gusts here as we head into Monday afternoon. And look at the snowfall rates really start to climb here for us by Monday, 2, 3 o'clock, and we'll be dealing with that for several hours. And then, well, it goes away. It doesn't mean we've lost data here, but we it looks like in Providence we'll go over to dealing with rain by Monday evening. So there's that switchover that takes place. No longer talking about snowfall rates, but rain that'll be in place there for you. So that may cut down some of the snow totals around Providence just a bit. Hard for, for you. It looks like it'll stay mostly snow for this entire event. We've got snowfall rates that'll get up into the moderate, maybe a brief period of time, getting up to heavy at times. By the time we get to that sort of Monday, I'd say rush hour time, although there probably won't be any rush hour because folks should just be staying off the roads. There's the forecast in Hartford, and there you can see double digit Digits. We're talking high teens around the city, heading on off towards the east a bit. And again, that's despite uh, dealing with some of that rain that comes in. We still could be talking about approaching maybe 10 inches or so in and around Providence. So some decent snows showing up there. Philadelphia, another location that'll be talking about the snow. Big winds. How about winds gusting up over 40 miles per hour for a majority of the day? And snowfall rates, they start to creep up as well, going from light to moderate and will stay right in that zone for most of your Monday morning. Afternoon heading into the evening hours as well. Some decent snows adding up. 
in the city now, we've updated the forecast. Now we're talking about pretty solidly in that foot range uh, for you in the city and looking at a little bit more as you start to climb on off towards the north uh, there. So yeah, this is no doubt a big system and a spot that's going to be impacted. NYC will look a lot different tomorrow. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is freaking hard. You get advice like try hypnosis or quit cold turkey. Kidney? Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. These both have the same amount of potassium. Only one of them is always ripe for the picking. V8, the original plant-powered drink. Veg up. Of course you've seen underwear that fits like this. But never for bladder leaks. New Always Discreet Boutique Black. I love how the smooth fit hugs my curves, no matter how I move. And I feel protected all day. A fit so discreet, you'd never know they're for bladder leaks. Always Discreet Boutique. Want to see for yourself? Get your coupon. Finally moved in. It's a great old house. Good bones, wraparound porch. The pipes are making strange noises. Even the plumbers couldn't help us. Nope. At least GEICO makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Which saves us a ton. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. The Dish Voice Remote has Google Assistant, which allows you to control all sorts of things. Like the lights. Dim the lights. And the door. Lock the door. And of course, your TV. Resume moving. What it can't control? A keen snack radar. The Dish Voice Remote with Google Assistant. Dish. Tuned in to you. Look to the builders. No matter what goes wrong in this country, they're out there. Look to the families, the communities, every small town, city, and schoolyard, and know that they will endure. Because in this country, we build with something stronger than brick or steel. We build with each other. These fudge brownie M&Ms are really fudgy. Yes, they are. To put a fudge brownie center in an M&M's is... Genius. I know. I was going to say hard. Why won't you... Mm. Ah! Why won't you go in... Fudge brownie M&M's. Just at home, staying safe with my family, working hard. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Love you all. Miss you all. Stay safe. These past few months haven't been easy, but they've reminded us that no matter what, there's no place like home. <laughs> now, with rates at historic lows, home has new meaning. Home means everything. You need a loan? Thank you for planning such an enriching camping trip for us. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. This will never happen, but this might. I got your tag bags! Frito-Lay variety packs. Dibs on the Fritos! Packed with possibilities. All right, the best snowman of 2021 award might go to whoever created this big old fella in the Windy City. My goodness gracious, look at the size of that thing. How do you even build that? Winter Storm Orlena provided, of course, plenty of powder to do so. You got the gigantic snowman. You know, we've seen reports of up to 10 and a half inches of snow in the Chicago area. How, do you, how do you, tall do you think that thing is, Alex? Five, ten, fifteen feet. I mean, that person was five if foot he's tall? five, yeah, maybe. you know, I mean, with the hat, I've never, <laughs> ever right. seen anything that massive. I'm just so happy. See, this is why I love snow because you get into the out there and you uh, get creative. <laughs> it is 29 past the hour.
Ladies and gentlemen, we got special coverage of Winter Storm Marlena. That does continue. I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Al. So I still can't get over that snowman. <laughs> I mean, that is gargantuan. Uh, All right. Uh, well, after a pretty much a snowless winter, how quickly things have really changed for D.C., our nation's capital there, which could see as much as eight inches when this is all said and done. So let's go ahead and get right on into uh, Justin Michaels live there in D.C. And, and Justin, the DMV uh, looking uh, like a winter wonderland here. And uh, folks seem to be you know, taking it in stride and enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. In fact, if we, if we look around here, behind me plenty of people out on the front lawn there people are really taking in the sights today because it is a beautiful day in washington dc no it's not sunny and 70 it's about 30 and snowy but for a lot of people like me that's a bad thing it's a beautiful day and take a look at some video though it's really snowing in clip in uh baltimore maryland this is live tower cam, and you can see it's definitely coming down there. Now, Baltimore is a little behind Washington, D.C., so they have about 1.6 inches of snow at this point. But when it's all said and done, Baltimore will end up with likely more snow than Washington, D.C. Could be as much as 8 inches of snow in Baltimore, where here in D.C. we're going to get 4 to 6. Maybe we'll have to see when it's all said and done. But don't think that we're anywhere near the end of of this marathon that is going to be Winter Storm Orlena. Remember, this is not going to be pushing out of here and being done and being a memory and in the history books until probably Tuesday morning. So it's going to switch over to rain later tonight and into tomorrow, but then switch back to snow and then continue to snow throughout the course of tomorrow afternoon and evening. Uh, so make sure your plans for Monday, again, being a work day, if you're not telecommuting, make sure you're taking that into consideration when it comes to any travel plans you might have, commuting plans you might have, because uh, tomorrow could be a little bit hairy, especially maybe your afternoon commute. Remember, tomorrow morning, it's probably going to be rain as you're waking up and getting moving. Uh, but those snow totals will still be going up in the afternoon, guys. So we're not out of the woods just yet. And as you can see really quickly, as I send it back in, you could take a look. We've had some snow coming down at a decent clip. And all the anti-ice anti, anti -ice and the snow melt has kind of gone away. And you can see the snow is beginning to build on the sidewalks again. So if you're heading out this afternoon, make sure you're using a lot of caution. Into you guys. Absolutely. Good advice. Thanks so much, Justin. We'll check back with you there. Meanwhile, Orlena going to uh, put on quite the snow show across sections of the Northeast, cities like New York, uh, the Worcester area there in Massachusetts. you got D.C. and Philadelphia all going to be uh, digging out of some of that heavy snow. And we could be talking about snowfall rates that get into the one to two inch per hour uh, category with a snowstorm that is not really expected to wrap up until Tuesday evening. So, Jordan, we are in for a bit of a long haul when it comes to this uh, system. I'm just looking at the two cameras. you got places around Boston seeing sunshine. New York now getting into some of the snowfall, so you could actually see how tight that gradient is between the clouds and the snow and the sunshine and the blue skies. Let's go ahead and take you, uh, or not take you, but have you look at the radar just to give you guys an idea of where we are currently seeing some snow. Staten Island, you got snowfall. Thank you guys so much for the update there. Starting to see some accumulation. Uh, New York City, the blue coverage is right over your neck of the woods. So it's just now beginning, and I we promised a slow mover. We've been watching this thing for the last several hours, and it is literally inching its way uh, to the northeast. So it is moving. It's just moving slow, as you can look at uh, the, pr the progression of it. Now, we're still seeing snow all all the way back to Chicago and even into parts of eastern Iowa, okay? The high pressure ridge up here on the top part of your screen, this is going to keep things cool for us. It's already been very cold in the northeast, so immediately when the snow comes, it's going to stick. But um, it's going to slow the low pressure down even more and block it a little bit. Therefore, that's why we're saying this could be a multi-day event. Look at Pittsburgh. You could have 52 straight hours of snowfall, all right? New York City, 50 hours. So you start it now, and you count 50 hours ahead, which is why we're going to be well into Tuesday before this thing is done. To kind of put it into our perspective um, just kind of makes you be like, wow, this is really going to take some time. So that bullseye is going to be right near uh, Scranton, uh, Poughkeepsie, due south, New York City. I mean, obviously, you're highlighted right into there. Long Branch, I mean, you get out into Long Island, you're still in the thick of it. So if, even if you're not in the pink, Alex, just being in the purple alone is good enough. Yeah, you said it. it plenty of snow to go around, that is for sure. Well, as we head uh, to break, let's go ahead and uh, get a Look, look at that forecast for Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where the snow's been coming down and will continue to come down. We had an inch already there for you in the last hour in the Lancaster area. Harrisburg looking for maybe about 10 inches through Tuesday afternoon. I sat up with psoriasis for so long. I felt gross. People were afraid I was contagious. I was covered from head to toe. I was afraid to show my skin. After I started Cosentex, I wasn't covered anymore. Four years clear. Five years now. 
I just look and feel better. See me. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentix. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. Five years is just crazy. See me. Learn more at Cosentix.com. This is what community looks like. Caring for each other. Protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. We made USAA insurance for members like Martin, an Air Force veteran made of doing what's right, not what's easy. So when a hailstorm hit, USAA reached out before he could even inspect the damage. That's how you do it right. USAA insurance is made just the way Martin's family needs it. With hassle-free claims, he got paid before his neighbor even got started. Because doing right by our members, that's what's right. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Thank you for planning such an enriching camping trip for us. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. This will never happen, but this might. On the cheer tag bags! Frito-Lay variety packs. Dibs on the Fritos! Packed with possibilities. These fudge brownie M&Ms are really fudgy. Yes, they are. To put a fudge brownie center in an M&M's is... Genius. I know. I was going to say hard. Why won't you... Mm. Ah! Why won't you go in? Fudge brownie M&M's. There are many reasons for waiting to visit your doctor right now. But if you're experiencing irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait to contact your doctor because these symptoms could be signs of a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which could make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. Your symptoms could mean something serious, so this is no time to wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. At Domino's, you can carry out three topping pizzas for just $7.99 each. And with Domino's car side delivery, you can conveniently stay in your car while you do it. Just pull up, check in online, and we'll quickly bring your food to you. Thank you. So you don't have to get out to get carry out. Like Denny here. Hey, Hamlin. I like your PJs. PJs? What? Stay in the driver's seat with Domino's car side delivery. Have you or a loved one been wronged by pre-made breakfast? Well, Wendy's has your back. Dropping the hammer with two of these made-to-order breakfast sandwiches for just $4. Get the breakfast you deserve now, too, for $4. Only at Wendy's. It's impossible to think of a place, to picture it in the mind, and not to picture its weather. Seattle, Washington. London, England. Los Angeles, California. See what I mean? Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. Thank you for staying with us live here on the Weather Channel. I'm Justin Michaels in what is Washington, D.C. Snow Globe Sunday. It's a wonderful day here in the city. Of course, it's been a long time since Washington, D.C. residents have been able to enjoy a day like this. In fact, nearly two years. The last day they got, listen to this, one inch of snow was February 19th of 2019 coming up on two years ago. Now, two guys who seem to know what they're doing when it comes to a good snow day are these two gentlemen over here. So tell me, guys, I see we have the base of a snowman. How tall is this guy gonna get? 10, 12 feet. Yeah. 10, 12 feet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so tell me, you guys, are, you guys are doing this. Lots of people out here in front of the National Cathedral. This is a long time coming to have a snow day. Oh, having yeah. fun? It really is, yeah. I mean, I took a walk earlier, and it was just really nice out. And so I was like, hey, let's if you have the boys going, let's make a snowman. Very good. Very good. Sledding, you never know. Very yeah. good. Are you guys from D.C., from the DMV? or College students at AU. And I got to yeah. say, we have not had a snow day like this since, like, freshman year. So. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Massachusetts, so this is like light work for me. This is like, you know, baby snow. 
but it's all right. It's still a good time. Very good. We're gonna. You're an old pro. You can teach this guy I what's, am, what's going on. The ropes, you know? Hey guys, hey, thank you very much. Thank Be careful you. out there too. All right. Yeah. So again, you know, snow days. There are dangers, right, on the highways. Moving around town can be a little bit dangerous, slippery in, ca in, in, in fact. Make sure you're being careful, but you can also have a good time with snow days, including for dogs and kids, and everybody's just having a great time out here in the front lawn here at the National Cathedral. That is a good thing. But again, guys, this isn't over. We've got a long-duration event, probably not ending until sometime Tuesday. Guys, into you. Hey, you said it, uh, Justin O'Dowd. We're going to bring back a little bit more snow there where you are and then really crank it up as it works its way up uh, a good chunk of the northeast coast as well. And, and no one is really safe from the dangers of the winter weather, first responders included. This is in Henrico County, Virginia, where a fire truck spun out of control and overturned. This was in route to a call. Now, all four firefighters were able to get out of the truck by themselves and were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. But, yeah, really uh, glad that they're okay. But got to be careful out there on those roads. Can get quite, quite slick. So speed, speed, speed is such a big thing slowing down. All right, here's what it looks like in terms of travels here for us. We've got the snow that continues here across a good chunk of the mid-Atlantic, starting to spread a bit farther north as well uh, around the NYC area, Philadelphia, Philly. You're seeing some of that snow. And as we get a little bit closer here into southeastern parts of uh, Pennsylvania, around the Lancaster area, Harrisburg, some of these zones. The snow, it is really starting to come down. And yeah, we see it here from this uh, particular camera here uh, from the uh, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation showing you winds coming in at the, uh, out the east are about 12 miles per hour and reducing visibility with the snow that's been heavy at times to about a half a mile. And the snow is starting to cover some of these roads as well. Notice everyone seems to be moving at a good pace. Slow is what you want to be doing if you have to get out there. All right, let's take a look at some of the delays. Oh, yeah, Chicago, O'Hare. Yeah, it's been delay action all day. In fact, we had ground stops earlier today, O'Hare and Midway. Right now, those delays are just under three hours. So that's not a fun airport to try to be heading in and out of right now. And eventually, things are quiet now in the east. We think, though, tomorrow we'll see a little bit more red showing up, indicating high impacts to some of these hubs. So keep that in mind. Check with the airlines before getting out to the airports as we head into tomorrow. All right, Jordan, you've got more on what we can expect for some of us along the coast and those winds that will crank up. Yeah, this picture is going to look way different in our 24 hours or so as we get the snow to pile up. Yes, even in the East Hampton area, uh, New York, the whole, uh, I was going to say the whole state. In fact, believe it or not, we're going to see more of it closer to the city than we are in places like Buffalo uh, just because of the trajectory of the system itself and uh, the, the nor'easter type structure. So even out on the coast, we'll see some action. I know it's very nice. In fact, if you can get out right now and just enjoy that beautiful sunset tonight before we're getting more cloud cover in the snowfall, I'd say go out and do it um, because, you know, you've got this low knocking on our doorstep, ladies and gentlemen, already seeing snow kind of working its way into the city and it'll spread its way along Long Island and eventually work its way into Boston. But this low is going to give us another good heavy dose of snowfall sitting right here from I-95 out west, but we'll also see it in some areas east of the I-95 corridor. We're also going to be seeing that wind. That wind threat's going to be problematic and that's going to be a widespread thing, especially locations out along the beaches where you don't have uh, a lot of in intrusion, right? And um, in friction, so you have, you know, just the pure wind coming in off the coast. And uh, that's going to be bringing gusts to upwards of 40, 50, maybe even higher than that, miles per hour. Look at Atlantic City, look at New York City, look at Montauk, Providence, all of you, all right? So on the coast, we're watching the water level, all right? Whenever you get a big storm system like this, especially when you get a high wind impact, it could actually push some of that water up. And so we've got the coastal flood warning for Atlantic City and Tom's River, all the Jersey Shore. This includes New York. This goes out to Long Island, and it goes into some of the waterways and the deltas here where we're seeing the uh, water going out into the tributaries because we see the water a lot fluctuate there as well. Well, so moderate flood impacts in all these locations. Sandy Hook, I mean, we're going to, we have the list here, depending on where you are, even if you maybe have a vacation home out along the beach, it might be a good idea to head out there and just protect it from any kind of water that could potentially move through, especially places like Freeport. You look at that major um, icon here and it just shows you Monday into Tuesday evening. Once again, Alex, multi-layered event here. Absolutely. And we've had some snow back towards the west across the Midwest. That's where we had it uh, first. Well, actually, first it was the West Coast that dealt with it, then made its way across the country. Well, Cleveland, for you, you've got more snow on the way. You can see the shop there on the left side of the screen. Some of the snow coming down here for you, kind of obscuring the visibility, visibility a bit there. You can barely see those buildings. But another three to four inches of snowfall to come through tomorrow. Ordinary tissues burn when Theo blows. 
So Dad bought Puffs Plus lotion and rescued his nose. With up to 50% more lotion, Puffs brings soothing softness and relief. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. Hi, I'm Jade, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's new grilled spicy deluxe is the way that the Colby Jack cheese complements the spicy sandwich as it melts. It doesn't overpower the sandwich, but it just goes with the spice. I'm just like, oh. Hey, I'm Will, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A new grilled spicy deluxe is the tenderness of the chicken and the marinade it's made in. You want to kick off your 2021 with a fresh start. This is what you got to have right here. You've got me all excited now. All right, I brought in Ensure Max Protein to give you the protein you need. With less of the sugar, you don't. I'll take that. 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Ensure Max Protein with nutrients to support immune health. DiGiorno has seven delicious crusts, and your family food critics will rave. Croissant crust is flaky layers of buttery bliss. Rising crust is fresh baked deliciousness. There's a five-star pizza for everyone in your family to love. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Mmm, that's bountiful grain-free. It's so healthy. Dot farm-raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful grain-free. Out with the grain, in with the farm-raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. Life doesn't give you many second chances. But a Subaru can. You guys okay? Eyesight with pre-collision braking. Standard on the Subaru Ascent. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Get 0% for 63 months on select new 2021 models, now through February 1st. Imagine. Hey guys, new phones are here. We switched to Spectrum Mobile so we can mix and match plans and save money. Nice. We got the buy the gig plan, so we only pay for what we use. You get the unlimited plan. Nice. And so do you. Nice. It's great they let you mix plans like that. Guess they understand that everyone is different. We're not clones. <laughs> right? Spectrum Mobile lets you mix and match any plan and save because it's a better way to mobile. Spectrum Mobile. Since childhood, I've loved building things. I've spent my life helping people create their dream homes. I'm an expert at transforming spaces, but one thing I'm not an expert at, building my financial future. That's why I have a personal advisor from Ameriprise. He not only knows the markets, he knows me. His financial advice helps me focus on the big picture which can be surprisingly hard, even for someone who's used to envisioning tomorrow. Ameriprise Financial. Cloud in this picture. Look closely. I'll give you a second. Did you find it here? Excellent job. That water holds future clouds. Sun's working on it as we speak. Get into the out there, the Weather Channel. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 28 degrees with snow showers. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Three to five inches of snow expected. Monday, snow along with gusty winds at times, high 36. Here's our seven day outlook. A live look for you of the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. as winter storm Orlena continues to blanket the greater Washington, D.C. area with snow. For the first time in nearly two years, as a matter of fact, 
I'm Justin Michaels live for you this hour as we're tracking Orlena. And I'll tell you what, even though it's been snowing for the better part of this entire day, you can see here along Wisconsin Avenue, not too bad. There is a snow emergency here in the district. The, the mayor instituted that this morning, extending all the way through Tuesday morning. And that's because this is a very long duration event. It's going to switch back over to rain this evening. And it's going to rain for a little while, but then switch back to snow uh, maybe midday tomorrow. So just because it switches over to rain, don't think that this is going to be over. We have a long way to go. And when it's all said and done here in the greater Washington, D.C. area or the DMV, that's the district or D.C., Maryland, Virginia, people here call it the DMV, we could see, could we see four, five, six inches of snow? It's certainly possible, guys. So uh, we have a long way to go. Still plenty of time for there to be problems on the roads, but I can report, at least right now, all systems go on D.C. roads, Alex, and even the airports are doing pretty well. Alex, into you. Hey, Justin, I'm going to take this. Thank you so much for the update. We love uh, seeing the conditions, how they've changed from snow to not snow and how the roads are doing. Of course, D.C. is going to be one of those spots that could pick up a couple of inches, like you said, in addition to what you've already seen. Uh, but I kind of want to show you how wide of a storm we're talking here because I know, Justin, we got a team set up all along the eastern seaboard. We've had teams pop up from Chicago. And, and now that the storm is transitioning, it's still lingering in Milwaukee, in Davenport, Peoria. You still have flakes flying. In fact, Chicago Chicago's Monday, Tuesday storm, you guys picked up about six inches early in the week. This storm producing 10 inches. So we've had two storms that produce six inches or more in one week time frame. You got to go back seven years to see that happen. All right. So this has been an active week for you folks in the Windy City. And uh, Orlena is going to be one for the record books. As you can see, what happens as we watch this move forward over the next couple of hours, where we're seeing some rain right now could transition over to snow overnight tonight. You get temperatures to cool down. I'm thinking of like Charleston, West Virginia. All right. Now we've got snowfall for everybody in the early morning hours before the storm slides its way into the uh, I-95 corridor. But uh, we're going to see it linger along the Appalachians. I think we can maybe see a little snow. Nashville, I'm saying don't be surprised. It's not going to be a lot, but it's going to be enough to maybe pack a little bit of a snowball early tomorrow morning. As you can see, we're going to be right there on that border of one to three inches from Nashville through Lexington, Columbus. I think you're going to be closer to that three, four, five inch range, and then you get into some heavier totals into Pennsylvania and uh, as you head farther east. But there's the newest update. As you can see, Nashville right around the city, around some of the suburbs. We could see maybe Dixon picking up about an inch. Again, timing on this. Alex, is tonight it'll start overnight when most people are sleeping but you'll wake up and maybe you could see a little uh, flakes out on your vehicles. Over to you. All right. Well, Orlina, no doubt, bringing the one-two punch of heavy snow and blowing wind to the Midwest and well, the storm likely to intensify as it cranks up the East Coast, potentially bringing blizzard conditions to the Northeast tomorrow. So, yeah, you can mind the, the wind that we'll see plus the snow that's uh, out there as well. And that's really going to make trying to get out and about almost impossible in some of these locations. Let's take a look at how this all is set up to play and we'll look at scenes like like that in the northeast here as we head into tomorrow as our low pressure system really starts to get going strong winds will start to impact this year particularly some of these coastal zones and then this low will track its way north and eastbound again the potential is there for some blizzard conditions now there's criteria that needs to be met for it to be officially a blizzard you've got to have winds those speeds need to get up to at least 35 miles per hour we're talking sustained winds or frequent gusts and that needs to reduce the visibility to a quarter of a mile or less both of those things need to happen for three hours, at least three hours. If it's only two, guess what? It's not officially a blizzard. So three or more hours and you've got a blizzard. Some things that actually don't play a, a role or a factor into it being a blizzard, snowfall amount, the temperature or the geographical uh, location there. So as we look at New York City, look at how things will start to crank up as we head through the day on Monday. Snowfall rates getting up into that heavy zone for several hours. And look at those winds, you can see could be in that 30, 35, maybe 40 mile per hour range, at least close to that range for a period of time. Really don't want to be out and about as we head on through Monday uh, during the day. So Jordan? what you're saying is we could have blizzard warnings potentially in NYC. Certainly a possibility. All right. Well, here we go. I do want to get you guys uh, caught up on uh, the widespread rain that's actually happening just south of the snow line. And we had some uh, good rainmakers kind of push through Atlanta. Now a lot of that activity is around Albany and Macon, Georgia, Savannah, Charleston, Wilmington, Myrtle Beach. Want to give you the shout out. You've got some showers outside your neck of the woods. The Outer Banks getting uh, heavy rainfall. And we got a chance to see this line as it progresses through Florida, maybe turn severe overnight tonight with uh, some wind damage. So as we show you the progression 
of those line of storms. Uh, this evening, it kind of works from Tallahassee to Jacksonville. Then from there, from Gainesville, it goes down to Tampa, Melbourne, Orlando, and then it'll continue its track early tomorrow morning. Naples, Miami, your morning commute. You're going to be dealing with that line of storms as it works its way offshore. We're tracking more from Orlena. We'll be back in just a bit. Are you ready to join the doers? Those who do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent, the add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma. Dupixent isn't for sudden breathing problems. It can improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks and help prevent severe asthma attacks. It's not a steroid, but can help reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Dupixent can cause serious allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis. Get help right away if you have rash, shortness of breath, chest pain, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection. And don't change or stop your asthma treatments, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Do more with less asthma. Talk to your asthma specialist about Dupixent. If your financial situation has changed, we may be able to help. I'm a performer. Always have been and always will be. Never letting anything get in my way. Not the doubts, distractions, or voice in my head. And certainly not arthritis. Voltaren provides powerful arthritis pain relief to help me keep moving. And it can help you too. Feel the joy of movement with Voltaren. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, cuckoo crusty. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. How did Kellogg's combine crunchy oak clusters with a touch of honey, plump, juicy raisins, and tasty fiber into one delicious cereal? It took a lot of brand storming. Get it? Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. Two scoops of delicious. Fairlife makes the most of milk. It's ultra-filtered for 50% less sugar and 50% more protein. So make the most of any occasion with Fairlife Ultra Filtered Milk. Have you or a loved one been wronged by pre-made breakfast? Well, Wendy's has your back. Dropping the hammer with two of these made-to-order breakfast sandwiches for just $4. Get the breakfast you deserve now, two for $4. Only at Wendy's. And we're back. It's all to play for here. Anybody's game. Well, here's the snap. Drops, fakes, throws right on the net. If your girl loves to shop for clothes, get her the Elite Box at AdoreMe.com. A stylist sends her a bunch of outfits to try on at home. Bras, lingerie, PJs. You only pay for what she keeps with free returns. Order before February 14th and get a surprise gift at AdoreMe.com. Mmm, that's about all grain-free. It's so healthy. Dot farm-raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful grain-free. Out with the grain, in with the farm-raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. Well, our special extended coverage of Winter Storm Orlena continues, and after blanketing the Midwest with a ton of snow, this major winter storm is now poised to batter the East Coast. We got that heavy snow, and then the strong winds are going to be whipping. Hello, and welcome to a very active day at the Weather Channel unfolding right now. I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. Orlena bringing the nation's capital its first true taste of winter. The mayor declaring a snow emergency, and that going through Tuesday. And that's where we find reporter uh, Justin Michaels. And Justin could be talking several inches of snow when this is all done and uh, yeah way more than we've seen so far this winter and more than we saw all of last winter. 
Yeah, you know what's interesting, guys, as I stand here, it seems like the consistency of what's coming out of the sky has changed a bit. We see some flakes coming down, but I have to wonder if we're getting some kind of, I don't know what we're getting right now. I mean, it's, it's definitely a little ice pellet, so maybe a little sleet at this point. Things are changing, and we knew that was going to happen. Another big change is going to happen coming up tonight when it switches over to rain, but don't think it's over at that point. Don't think you're going to wake up tomorrow and all the snow is going to be gone because what's going to happen is tomorrow midday it's going to switch back over to snow. We're going to be talking about that this hour. Uh, but you can see here, D.C. is doing pretty well. Wisconsin Avenue, not bad at all. And you have to believe that that snow emergency, Muriel Bowser, the mayor, her declaring that has really given him the resources and the staffing uh, to make sure these roads stay as clear as possible. But we're not out of the woods just yet. Remember, that snow emergency goes all the way through until Tuesday morning. Uh, so stay tuned throughout this hour and all evening long as we keep you up to date on what's happening here in greater Washington, D.C. Guys, and to you. All right, Justin, thank you so much. I do want to get you guys a look at where we're looking at the winter storm warnings, where we got the winter storm watches. I mean, look how big of a system this thing really is. Chicago still experiencing the winter storm warning. That should expire later tonight, but the snow still lingering at this hour. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of that energy kind of move into Kentucky and then eventually. D.C. has already picked up some snow. In fact, if we go ahead and take a look at some of the snowfall uh, projections, wow, right? I mean, look at how much of us could experience a foot or more. There is a lot of purple right there, Alex, and I think there's a good chance that literally um, travel is going to be put to a halt as we head into tomorrow. Yeah, you said it. Purple one of my favorite colors, but uh, if you have to deal with uh, feet of snow, Gets a little tougher to like purple, right? Well, let's get you the very latest on what we know with this winter storm. 62 million are under winter storm warnings with those warnings stretching from the Midwest to the Northeast. And well, the Maryland Department of Transportation they're deploying 370,000 tons of rock salt to treat the roads. New York City could see its biggest snowstorm in more than five years with over a foot of snow possible there. That would be the biggest snowstorm since winter storm Jonas in 2016. And Jordan, you're looking at what this uh, system is doing now. Yeah, and a lot of you are going to be getting those snowblowers out. I know we've been taking live looks at uh, New York City and we're just now seeing the flakes fly. So it's bare, but it's going to change. Give it tomorrow morning, that first light. It's going to be a winter wonderland. So let's go ahead and take a look at the radar, show you where we're seeing the rain, where we've got the snow. Interesting spot here around Cincinnati, uh, just south of Pittsburgh. We got that rain field. It's going to transition to snow overnight tonight. So just know that you got the rain hitting the rooftop right now. It will move back into snow. Chicago, you still have snow. Milwaukee's got snowfall. Fort Wayne picking up almost a foot. All right, you're closing in on 10 inches in Fort Wayne. If you take a look at Columbia City, you're at 7.7 .7 inches right now. Dunphy's 7.5. Uh, we got uh, 3 inches over at Loran. So we're all getting something out of this. And uh, Chicago itself is sitting right around the magic number of 32 degrees. You still have some flakes out there coming in off of Lake Michigan now that the wind is kind of coming down out of the north. Visibility down to a mile. And uh, we've reported so far 8.8 .8 inches, both at O'Hare and Midway seeing very similar snowfall amounts between eight and nine inches or so. Philadelphia, you got snow. New York, like I said, just now moving into your neck of the woods. Notice temperatures in the 20s for Scranton. State College at 25. Philadelphia sitting right at 28. Ground is cold enough for it to immediately start accumulating, which is why these totals are so big. I mean, astronomical. We're talking about several spots picking up more than a foot because we have no time to waste. It's not like we have to wait for the ground to get cold enough for the snow to accumulate. It'll immediately begin to accumulate. Visibility currently in New York is at 10 miles, but that snow is working its way north and east of you. Uh, Millington, Look at your, you've already picked up about two inches. I know that we've got that rain closer to places like Del Mar down here where uh, the rain and the snow line is uh, very close together, but uh, you still have snow on the ground. So winter alerts in effect. This will stick with us. Big picture here, Alex, to see when it's going to expire. This is not going to be done until Tuesday evening going into Wednesday. And seeing some of those winter storm warnings extending now to include places like uh, Boston. Now, it took almost uh, until February, but D.C. finally seeing some accumulating snow and getting a chance to pile up. Let's get back out to Justin Michaels there in our nation's capital. Justin, how are the folks uh, reacting to this storm? Well, I'll tell you what, people here are having a good time, but I, and I'm going to show you that in a second, but I want to get to some important video that we just got on the Weather Channel, the dangerous side of storms like this. Take a look at 495. It's one of the major highways in and around the greater D.C. area, not far from where we're standing right now, a jackknife tractor trailer. So if that's an area that you're going to be driving through, make sure that you're finding a different route. Alternate routes are important, and it just highlights how important it is to stay 
stay weather aware on these roads. The best thing you can do at this point, especially because we're getting to a point now where the snow is going to start to switch over to maybe some sleet. Could there be freezing rain in that? It's certainly possible. You never can tell. And then eventually rain. So icing could be an issue here. So just be very careful if you have to head out this evening. That jackknife tractor trailer is a big, big example of what I'm talking about. Be very careful. Now, Switching from the dangerous side to the fun side of the snow, you can see here in the yard at um, the National Cathedral, the puppy dogs having a good time. We've got snowmen. Uh, this guy right here looks like he might have been involved in some sort of a tornado accident earlier because he's got a, a stick coming out of his head. I'm not quite sure what's happening with him. That one over there has a hat on. You can see the dogs and the puppies having a great time. And then we've got, we've got this guy over here who's being COVID aware. Uh, of course, leave it up to the American University students to, to put together uh, maybe the most stylish snowman in the DMV right now. Uh, and, and also COVID safe. Hey, guys, uh, does he have a name? Uh, what's your name? What's my name? Yeah. Justin. Justin. Oh, That's Justin, Justin right the there. snowman. All right, here we go. I'll have to get, I'll have to, have to get a selfie with oh, this guy. Yeah, so, yeah. hey, guys, tell me, you know, you're from Massachusetts. Yeah. Where are you from? Philadelphia. Okay, so you guys both know snow. You yeah. more than you, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. tell me. Uh, two years since we've had any kind of measurable snow in the DMV. This is a good day. Oh, it's very awesome. much so, yeah. A lot of fun out here. It's not too cold. It's just not nice, not too windy. Beautiful day. Take a nice walk. Build a snowman like Justin here. Very good, Justin the snowman. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a hat like that. I need, to, that. I need to pick up, pick up a hat like <laughs> that. Hey guys, thank you very much. Of course. Gotcha. Yeah, be thank careful you. out there too. Uh, so you can see again. I, how can you not want to see puppy? Dog? In fact, follow me over here. Mike Hahn behind the lens. Can we show your puppy dog over here? Well, hello there. Hello there, puppy dog. Look at the, I mean, how can you not love a puppy dog like this? Hello. Yes, you're having more fun than you're allowed to have. You can have, yes. Oh, aren't you sweet? I know. It's so much fun to be a dog. Guys, I want to play with the dog for a little bit, so I'll send it back into you. All right, Justin, you're having just way too much fun what are you there. Guys doing? Playing oh with the dogs, goodness. you got oh snowmen, goodness. you've been it's making so snowballs. Fun to be a dog. Uh, yes. But yeah, it definitely looks like a lot of fun, Justin, there. He's like, I'm done. I'm playing with the dog. All right, let's talk about what's going to be happening here with the system as we work our way into the early part of the week. Deep trough here that's in place here in the eastern third of the country. And that's where the cold air is going to essentially be in place. Low pressure, that starts to get going and cranking up off the coast, flinging back some of this Atlantic moisture into where we've got some of that cold air. So snow is something that we'll see really cranking up. We're already seeing a bit of that now, starting to move its way up from Philadelphia, Harrisburg, Scranton, you're in there. Even around New York City, we're going to start to see uh, some of that getting reported here before long. As we zoom out a bit more, some rain into the Ohio Valley now in some of those areas, but some of those spots will switch over to snow as we head on into this evening. By tonight, you'll notice here filling in more blue showing up now, Charleston getting into some of the snow, and then we'll see the low developing off the coast. There it is starting to get going. And so by the time we get into Monday morning, that's going to be the one that really starts to take over. That's going to be the main player now that really gets the snow going. And again, at times with the wind and the snow, we could be seeing blizzard conditions try to set up. Possibility of maybe coastal parts of Connecticut into western Long Island and even around New York City, we could see blizzard warnings get issued. We'll see if that happens, but certainly blizzard like conditions will be possible heading into your Tuesday evening. Boston going to be right on that edge. Boston is seeing that rainstone line trying to sneak its way on in. How far west does that make its way? That's going to determine a lot uh, in terms of how much we actually end up with. For now, here's the forecast as we work our way through Tuesday night, and it stands out right in this zone, eastern Pennsylvania, northern Jersey into New York State. That's an area where we see 18 to 24 inches of snow adding up. I mean, we're talking about two feet that'll be possible in these areas. That's a lot of snow for this uh, area uh, to deal with here. So be careful with that. And even surrounding that, I mean, there's not, nothing to sneeze at, even in some of these purple zones. That's still 12 to 18 inches of snow. So no matter where you're at in the purple, it's a lot of snow. And then certainly as you start to get into the pinks, even more. And Jordan, you've got a bit more at what we'll see in that pink zone. New York City. Well, man, the last time we were in that pink zone, you got to go back to the winter season of 2015, 2016. So it's been some time since we've had that much. So here's that live look that I was kind of teasing about earlier of, you know, Times Square, New York City, showing you the before because – I'm, I can't wait to see what this is going to look like by sunrise. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like 24 hours from now. All right. Once you get to that over a foot, now you're surpassing the two foot range. Things are going to get interesting. Less people, I can imagine. Maybe more cross-country skiers. 
I don't know. It's going to get interesting to see some of the videos coming out of, um, of uh, parts of the East Coast and, you know, New York City being one of those. Here's a look, New York specific, okay? We had winter storm Gale already this season. That was a big one, right? Produced 10 inches for us. You go back a couple of, I mean, last year we didn't get any storm that was that big. So uh, this one this year was definitely one to remember. And then now we've got this one on top of it, uh, 2020 into, yeah, what are we, 2021 now? 2020 and 2021 season is going to be one of those that we're going to talk about for quite some time. If you could take a look at that pink zone, kind of zoomed in a little bit closer to NYC. You go out on Long Island, you're still looking at a foot plus. You go all the way down to the southwest on I-95. Some of you guys going to get two feet potentially. So there's the big swath of blue, which would indicate snowfall. New York City specifically still kind of seeing some what we call virga. The snow's coming down and it's not really hitting the surface in some locations. Staten Island, I know we got an update from a viewer there saying, hey, it's snowing here and it's starting to accumulate. So we're waiting for the atmosphere to really moisten up. Look at New York JFK. See, snowing there, but not snowing in White Plains yet. Uh, give it a couple more hours, all right? The wind will pick up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like that wind could maybe be blowing at 25, 35, 45 mile per hour gusts. You could even see gusts higher than that. If you take a look at tomorrow afternoon, they could be in the 50 mile per hour range, even more. Look at Massapequa, 60 miles per hour there. So uh, that's going to be a big issue with the wind and the blowing snow. Then you've got the transition that could take place. If you get some of that mild air and that ocean influence to impact us along Long Island, maybe Bridgeport could go into uh, the rain category briefly before transitioning back to snow Tuesday afternoon, okay? And uh, meanwhile, New York City is just not uh, just snow. That's it. Flat out snowfall for you folks. So I don't think we'll quite see the transition in NYC specifically. So there's the snow still to come. Every time I look at this, I'm just like, man, this is going to be a storm system that um, makes all you snow enthusiasts really uh, enjoy, especially you ski lovers. Binghamton farther up to the north and upstate regions, not as high of a likelihood of a big one foot snowfall total, but you're going to be right there on that border. And you notice here, Alex, that, that, um, that uh, the difference, the differentiation between Binghamton, Binghamton and Scranton, how close they are together, but yet how big of the, uh, the variance is going to be between snowfall totals. Yeah, absolutely. And you see that around the Boston Metro as well. A little bit more uncertain about just how much maybe stacking up here, closely watching because there is a sharp, sharp, sharp gradient here between going from the heavier, heftier snows to uh, a few inches here, uh, there that'll be in place across at least the southeastern part of Massachusetts. So you're right on that edge there, Boston. We'll see how it all plays out. For now, things are looking quiet. It's a chilly one. Lower 20s, some sunshine but we'll see some changes. Now, this is what the map may look like as we get into tomorrow evening. There's our area of low pressure, and what we'll notice here, of course, remember the flow around that low is coming, coming in sort of counterclockwise, and that helps to draw up some of that milder air from the Atlantic. And so as that happens, some of these areas start to transition and go from snow to more of a rain and snow mix, and in some cases, maybe just all rain. Now, the farther west you head, the better chance that that changeover does not take place, so stays all snow. But just towards the coast, that's where things get a little tricky. So as we get in a little bit tighter here, show you what's going on around Boston. You can see what we've got in terms of the forecast. Looks like right around seven or so inches there around the city, but you don't have to head too far west to get into now those double digits, getting up over a foot off towards the south and the east, lighter amounts. Again, this is all thanks to the fact that we'll see that transition tar try to take place. Let's work our way through starting off Monday morning and through the afternoon. Notice we've got the snow, but by Monday evening, creeping in that purple, that's that rain and snow mix. And then for a period of time, all rain heading into Tuesday morning. I mean, temperatures in the mid 30s heading down towards uh, the Bridgewater area. How about up to 40? So plenty warm to deal with the rain there. Now, eventually we'll see those temperatures start to crash back down and we'll go over back over to some snow before things start to wind down heading into your Wednesday morning. But again, right on that edge, do we see maybe that uh, foot plus category shift a little bit farther to the east? It's certainly not out of the question. Do we see some of the lighter totals push towards the west? That is certainly a possibility. We're just going to have to wait and see how that uh, all sets up as we head on through the day tomorrow. Farther to the south, getting down into Connecticut, Rhode Island, several inches of snow, foot plus possible here for us. Hartford, you're in that range. Certainly as you work your way westbound, getting into that territory. Now, right now, things are pretty quiet. Cold in the lower 20s, but a lot of sunshine. But we will start to see that changing later tonight. Here comes that precipitation in the form of snow. Staying that way here as we head into Monday afternoon. But then evening hours. There you go, right along the coast. We do see a bit of a change over to some rain. And that continues heading into the early part of Tuesday morning. So that may cut down some of the totals in a spot like Providence. Again, we'll have to see how that all 
all plays out. Another issue, Jordan, that we'll see, again, the winds cranking up and coastal problems. Yeah, we got to watch out for some flooding. You got to think, this storm system is going to take its time, right? We talk about it not exiting the region until Tuesday. Tuesday, second half of Tuesday. So we could go through three high tide cycles, which of course is going to be the problem. And then you got to look at the wind. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that's going to be impacted. Atlantic City, your wind speed's picking up really quickly as we head into the overnight hours tonight. All that wind ramping up all the way up into Boston and the rest of the eastern seaboard throughout the day tomorrow. The gusts will be out there 30, 40, 50 miles per hour. There's your coastal flood warnings from the Jersey Shore, Long Island, all the way down the coast. We'll be right back. Are you tired of clean clothes that just don't smell clean? What if your clothes could stay fresh for weeks? Now they can. Downy Unstoppable's in-wash scent boosters keep your laundry smelling fresh way longer than detergent alone. Pour a cap of Downy Unstoppable's into your washing machine before each load and enjoy fresher smelling laundry. With six times the freshness ingredients, Downy Unstoppable's gives you more of what you love. If you want laundry to smell fresh for weeks, make sure you have Downy Unstoppable's in-wash scent boosters. Where can a healthier heart lead you? For people with heart failure taking Entresto, it may lead to a world of possibilities. Entresto help people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is hard. You get advice like, try hypnosis, or quit cold turkey. Kidding me? Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. The Dish Voice Remote has Google Assistant, which allows you to control all sorts of things, like the lights. Dim the lights. And the door. Lock the door. And of course, your TV. Resume moving. What it can't control? A keen snack radar. Yeah. The Dish Voice Remote with Google Assistant. Dish. Tuned in to you. Mmm, that's bountiful grain free. It's so healthy. Ah, farm raised chicken. It's good chicken. Mm, here come the accents. Blueberries and pumpkin. Wow. And spinach. That was my favorite bite so far. Beneful grain free. Out with the grain, in with the farm raised chicken. Healthful, flavorful, beneful. Save me some cheddar. Capital One shopping. It's kind of genius. What's in your wallet? What if sun made raisins were just the beginning? A naturally sweet start to a world of delicious flavors like sour candy and s'mores. All from SunMade, and all made with whole fruit. Imagine that! Life doesn't give you many second chances. But a Subaru can. You guys okay? Eyesight with pre-collision braking. Standard on the Subaru Ascent. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Get 0% for 63 months on select new 2021 models, now through February 1st. Loves me? Loves me not. New Neutrogena Skin Balancing. Three made-for-you formulas with 2% PHA. Exfoliate and condition for soft, balanced skin. Find the one. Neutrogena. Ashley Home Store's Mattress Marathon event ends soon. Get 0% interest for 84 months on select Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Plus, get $300 Ashley cash and free delivery. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Attention, New York City accident victims. If you were injured tripping on a broken sidewalk in the five boroughs of the city of New York, call 1-800-LAW-3405 to hire a law firm experienced in handling multi-million dollar accident cases. Your sidewalk trip and fall case may be worth hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. Call 1-800-LAW-3405 if you fell on a broken sidewalk and have broken bones, surgery with pins, plates, screws, or rods, neck or back surgery, or other serious injuries. Call 1-800-LAW-3405 now. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 25 degrees with snow showers.
tonight. Windy with snow, low 27. Snow accumulating three to five inches. Monday, snow along with gusty winds at times, high 36. Here's our seven day outlook. It's impossible to think of a place, to picture it in the mind, and not to picture its weather. I'll bet you do it too, maybe without realizing. Seattle, Washington. London, England. Los Angeles, California. See what I mean? Get into the out there. The Weather Channel. All right, I know we got a big old winter storm, but we're asking you to get into the out there and send us your beautiful pictures. And of course, the fun video from Winter Storm Orlena, if you can do it safely. We got Caroline in Charlottesville getting into the out there and literally made a new friend while enjoying the snow from Orlena. Yeah, you did. What's your friend's name? I don't know if I quite got that either way. Looking good. We've seen as much as four and a half inches so far in the city here itself. And uh, I think you, you, you added the jewelry and <laughs> a little hairdo on top. What do you think, Alex? I give it an eight out of ten. What, do you, what about you? Uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half out of ten. Yeah. All right. That's a doozy. <laughs> All right. We got winter storm Orlina uh, beginning to bring heavy snow now into the northeast. But look at how much we picked up in the middle part of the country. I mean, remember the totals that we were talking about earlier this week in California, okay? Then it moved to Chicago, and it still produced. It still had energy left over. We got Milwaukee at ten inches. Chicago almost closing in at ten inches. Indianapolis, I know you've been on the border of rain snow literally right there right now, but it's snowfall right now for you folks and you could actually pick up maybe another inch two or three inches as the storm moves out chicago still snowing toledo you got some snow fort wayne you still got some flakes flying around you're going to see all that green go bye bye overnight tonight and turn into snowfall uh for places like kentucky lexington even charleston i know it's green at 11 o'clock tonight but two three o'clock in the morning transitions back out into snow I guess maybe I should wait till like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And then that's uh, bringing some heavy snow all the way into the eastern seaboard. But uh, the Appalachian chain is going to look pretty good with this system as well. I think if anyone in um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee want to get up to the mountains there, uh, we're looking pretty good. Like I said, another 1 to 3 inches for uh, most of the metro areas. Even in uh, Nashville, okay, you guys can maybe pick up an inch out of this. I don't think it's going to be a heavy hitter, but it's going to give you at least something. Watch, overnight tonight, I know you, most of you will be sleeping during this, but if you wake up in the morning, your vehicles could have some snow on it maybe your grassy surface out front in the yard. Not enough to shovel here, but just enough to be like, hey, we got a little bit of something. Cleveland, you'll have some to shovel probably. As you can see, that three to four inch range, that's when you start to see people getting out and having to clear sidewalks and driveways and all of that. I think uh, by the time we head into the overnight hours tonight, the, the snowfall we got out the door right now will really actually pick up through the morning hours tomorrow. We're at 6 o'clock in the morning. Notice widespread light uh, snowfall for you folks. Uh, we're still seeing snow. The reason why I think we could pick up four, maybe five inches of snowfall here is because of the duration. Okay, It doesn't have to be heavy snow for you to actually pick up uh, a good amount of accumulating snow because of how long it's going to be sitting overhead. So uh, all you folks outside of Cleveland and uh, right around Lake Erie, you're going to see some of it. But the bulk of the energy, Alex, is going to be shifting its way into the places around the I-95 corridor. Now, some of those big metro areas are going to get absolutely hammered, but we're all getting into a little bit of something. Tell us what we're looking at here. Uh, how about this? Some new video here of snow flurries flying around Ocean City, Maryland. This afternoon, this courtesy of our winter storm that we've already seen over two and a half inches there west of the uh, Ocean City there in Salisbury. Chance for a few more flakes this afternoon before this becomes an all rain issue today and maybe back to some snow as we end things on Tuesday there. But yeah, you don't see too much too often some snow there around Ocean City getting a bit of that today. All right, we're going to crank it up here as we head on through the day, watching more snow fill in from New York City across Long Island, getting into New England eventually as we head through the day afternoon there. Uh, Boston sees some snow as well. And the snowfall rates, particularly in this zone here, could get pretty uh, hefty uh, as for uh, at least some time. Let's take a look at what we've got in a spot like Scranton as we see our snowfall get up into that moderate range in terms of snowfall rates. 
by Monday afternoon. For a couple of hours, we'll be dealing with that. And then we'll kind of meander right in that zone for a majority of your Monday evening and into Monday night as well. Winds for us there in Scranton, I'd say at times around 20 miles per hour with those gusts. The snow getting a chance to add up. Scranton, you're right in that purple zone of 15, 16 inches, but... I mean, just to your south and east, there's a bit of a bullseye that we start to see over 20 inches. Could we see some of that sneak its way into the city? Certainly not out of the question. So just be prepared for uh, close to a 20 inches there in and around the city. Providence in Rhode Island, another location that'll be getting in on some of the snow and those winds will crank up even more. Look at the winds here showing up out of the northeast. 30, 35, close to 40 miles per hour for a majority of the day. And look at the snowfall rates. They start to get into the moderate and heavy range by Monday afternoon and stay there all the way until we get to about Monday evening, 6, 7 o'clock. Then you see it kind of fall off the cliff. That's because we anticipate to switch over to some rain for some time. So no longer seeing the snow by Monday night. Uh, but still very, very uh, windy and also very, very wet. All right, let's take a look at Hartford, another location. 30, 35 mile an hour wind gusts. That'll be the case, commonplace basically throughout the day. Snowfall rates, moderate, close to heavy for majority of the afternoon, continuing into your evening as well. So again, travels, that's the key here. Traveling is not going to be something that we recommend anyone do here along that 95 corridor. We'll see the snow get a chance to add up. Several inches around Providence, seven, eight, nine, close to 10 inches possible there. While we head off towards the west, you just crank up the snowfall amounts a little bit more. We may stick with the snow a little longer in a spot like Hartford. And certainly around New York City, ooh, it's going to add up here for us. 20 plus inches, can't rule that out. This scene will look a lot different. This is what community looks like. Caring for each other, protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. Daryl's family uses Gain Flings now, so their laundry smells more amazing than ever. Isn't that the dog's towel? Oh. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is hard. You get advice like, try hypnosis, or quit cold turkey. Kidding me? Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. Have you or a loved one been wronged by pre-made breakfast? Well, Wendy's has your back. Dropping the hammer with two of these made-to-order breakfast sandwiches for just $4. Get the breakfast you deserve now, too, for $4. Only at Wendy's. I can't believe that Daniel deal you got me on my insurance. Daniel, State Farm offers surprisingly great rates to everyone. Sure you do. You want to meet the queen? Uh, I'm not dressed for that. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. If your girl loves to shop for clothes, get her the Elite Box at AdoreMe.com. A stylist sends her a bunch of outfits to try on at home. Bras, lingerie, PJs. You only pay for what she keeps with free returns. Order before February 14th and get a surprise gift at AdoreMe.com. Boys, game time means crunch time. But you got to bring the chips. Dion, you in? Oh, I'm in. I got some Doritos right here ready for prime time. What you bringing, Mike? Come on, man. You know Lay's are the real playmaker. What are y'all doing? Man. You know we can see you. Terry, this is a video chat. Send a spot for the Terry Bear. All right, see you guys game day. Don't forget the chips. And Terry, don't forget your pants. Just put on some pants, right? We just put on pants. Put on some pants. It's crunch time, America. Don't forget the chips. Dental implants are going to give people that full aspect of their life back. At Clear Choice, we've been doing this for many, many years, and I think we truly help patients change their lives here. It's so meaningful to be a part of that impact. Come in, talk to us. You're going to get an education on what implants are, what the solutions are, what can be done. What if sun-made raisins were just the beginning? A naturally sweet start to a world of delicious flavors like sour candy and s'mores. All from sun-made and all made with whole fruit. Imagine that!
Well, we got a new video into the Weather Channel. The streets, they're quiet and they're snow covered in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Just a few inches of snow on the ground now. But you guys know there's more where this came from. Just look at that. I love the uh, aerial shot here just to give you some perspective as that snow is coming down into the lens there. Uh, it's a beautiful scene, but you know those roads are going to be slick. And uh, I think that uh, conditions are just going to continue to deteriorate. Welcome back, everybody, as we are tracking Winter Storm Orlena. 29 past the hour, I'm meteorologist Jordan Steele. And I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace. Plenty to track here for us, including what has been pretty much a, a snowless winter. Uh, but how things have quickly changed for D.C., right, which could see as much as eight inches from the storm. Let's get right on out to Justin Michaels live there in the nation's capital. And Justin, uh, no doubt about it, uh, some substantial snow expected finally, right, for the folks who yes. have been looking for some snow. Almost two years people have been waiting for a snow day like this, and they're finally getting it. But I will tell you, and we've known this was going to happen, guys, that the switchover was eventually going to happen to rain this evening and then back to snow tomorrow. Well, right now, we're beginning to see that. In fact, it's difficult to see on my gloves right now, but you can see whatever is hitting there is not hitting as snow. It's almost bouncing off. So we're getting sleet right now. And we knew that was going to happen. And eventually, well, there's a little bit of snow, but the sleet's bouncing off. Most of it is sleet at this point, and we know that that rain uh, line is coming. In fact, about 50 miles away from us here in, in Washington, D.C., is Quantico, Virginia, and they're all rain right now. So that is beginning to move in our direction. We knew that was going to happen, but again, don't think the snow from Orlena is over at that point. We've got snow tomorrow afternoon and maybe even into Tuesday morning, but... That's not stopping people from having a really good time on the National Mall, about two miles from where we're standing here uh, in Washington, D.C. Take a look at this snowball fight. These guys and girls, exactly what they're doing and how to have a good time in the middle of a snow day in our nation's capital. Of course, there's a lot of fighting that goes on in this city, but thankfully the fighting today is all in jest and in good time, and they're having a great time there on the National mall I, I you know i kind of want to be there in fact i think that's for alex alex i need to take our snow battle jordan you're welcome to to to, to come in and and see what you can get done too but uh, they're having a really good time so good for them that's what this is all about there are the dangerous sides of this and that are there have been some accidents reported a jackknife tractor trailer on 495 so make sure you're using extreme caution as you're heading around and in fact take a look at wisconsin avenue for the first time today and this does happen a lot of the snow melts a lot of the brine they put down begins to go away and you can see it's beginning to build on the road so it's getting a little slick so if you do have to head out, Alex, this evening, the best thing people can do here in the DMV, use extreme caution, drive for conditions. In fact, drive slower than for conditions. Keep plenty of room between you and the person in front of you, especially if they're a plow or salting truck. Give them lots of room so they can do the good jobs of knocking down uh, the, the, the buildup that's happening on the roads, Alex. Into you. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. Indeed, uh, some good advice. Uh, really just staying at home. It's a Sunday evening. No need to be heading out and about. Just uh, let the crews do what they need to do. All right, Justin, we'll check back with you right. in just a bit. Well, quite the snow show. A force in the Northeast, cities like New York, the Worcester area there in Massachusetts. We talked about D.C., Philly. Some of these areas will be digging out of some of that snow and could be talking about one to even two inch per hour snowfall rates uh, for periods of time uh, with a snowstorm that won't be wrapping up until we get into Tuesday evening. So, Jordan, yeah, this is not one that's uh, quickly in and out. It's going to be hanging around for some time. Yeah, we're going to watch this thing just crawl. It's a turtle race, right? And there's no hair involved, so it's just the turtle. <laughs> it's just the turtle moving across the country and really going to be producing a lot of snowfall. We've already seen it in California. We've seen it in the Midwest, and we're already seeing it kind of work its way through the Appalachians and into the Northeast now. Taking a look at where that snow currently is setting up shop right now. We've been uh, here for several hours, and it really hasn't moved much. We're trying to get it over into Long Island and get some snow to really start to blanket into NYC, but uh, that'll happen overnight. We're still seeing some sun up along interior portions in the upper part of uh, the Northeast. So big picture here shows why it's going to linger. High pressure up towards the top. We're going to keep that cold air coming in. Cold air at the surface is already cold enough to see snow, so no worries there. As the low tracks eastward, we're going to see it gain strength once it gets out into the Atlantic. But this high up here is going to act like a blocking pattern and kind of slow it down and just allow it to really take its time. So when you break it down, not only by days, but by the amount of hours that you're going to be experiencing snowfall. Pittsburgh, how about 52 straight hours of snow? Philly, 
56 straight hours of snow, okay? It's just another number to show you. Man, this is going to take some time, won't it? Albany, New York, you'll see it for a couple of days or 36 hours specifically. And that is why we think it could actually um, enhance the snow production. All right, right there around New York City, as you can see, 18 to 24 seems to be the bullseye in the city itself of the Big Apple. So watching this thing uh, form overnight tonight, we're going to bring in that low. Once it gets out here, it's going to really strengthen. So the wind is going to be a threat, too. We'll be back. Get this. I have my Stouffer's bowl fulls and a fried chicken mashed potato fork full, for which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing, because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Someday I'll ask you a question that will change me forever. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Start your someday today with 20 to 40% off all bridal. If your girl loves to shop for clothes, get her the Elite Box at AdoreMe.com. A stylist sends her a bunch of outfits to try on at home. Bras, lingerie, PJs. You only pay for what she keeps with free returns. Order before February 14th and get a surprise gift at AdoreMe.com. These past few months haven't been easy, but they've reminded us there's no place like home. With rates at historic lows, home has new meaning. Home means everything. You need a loan, Daddy. It's for you. I didn't order a pizza. I know, but that Parker promo saved me so much from my insurance. I brought you a little something special. Parker, State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey there, I'm Jake, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's new Grilled Spicy Deluxe is that grilled chicken that we all know and love with the grilled marks that's super juicy. The heat, the cheese, the multi-grain brioche bun, the flavor is just out of this world. Hey, I'm Amber, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. This is not your traditional spicy chicken sandwich. You get the grilled flavor, seasoning, spices, married all together to this perfect sandwich. It's literally like fireworks in your mouth. Welcome to the next, next level. This phone paired with 5G Ultra Wideband, wow. The new Samsung Galaxy S21 is here, and it's on Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband, the fastest 5G in the world, available in parts of many cities. It's not just a great network. It's ridiculously fast. Stream your favorite shows in Ultra HD. I'm so excited about this. Streaming is crystal clear. Select unlimited plans, get the Disney bundle included, and Discovery Plus on us. Yes. <laughs> Switch and get Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus 5G on us, only on Verizon. Got it? Got it. It's slippery. No! Yes! Quick! The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. Hey, look. I got it. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. At Domino, we're going to talk about the weather. I say it's boring not to. Get into the out there, the Weather Channel. We're calling this one Winter Storm Orlena, and I'm Justin Michaels live for you this afternoon at the Washington National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. You can see an absolutely glorious building, huge building, and with even more pretty because it has all the snow around it. And you can see what people are doing on the grounds here at the National Cathedral. Mike, follow me this way. These guys, just some neighborhood kids having a good snowball fight. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Look at this. Well, that one guy, oh, he's getting tackled and everything else. My goodness gracious. Uh, so that's one way to have a good time in the snow. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job. Uh, but yes, it is a good day, a snow day in the city, and this is probably because these guys haven't seen a day like this in nearly two years here in Washington, D.C. The last snow day they would have had when they got a whopping one inch of snow was back in February of 2019. Uh, so they are having a good time, but it's not just these guys. Let's look over here. You can see in front of the big cathedral here, there are kids and there are dogs and there are couples all sorts of people having a good time. And this is just one small part of Washington, D.C. And, and what it is, here we go, Jamie, Jamie Morrison behind the lens there, one of our producers, you can see, you can literally create a perfect snowball. 
in this kind of weather. I mean, that is almost a perfect sphere. Uh, so if you want to come out and have a good time, tonight's the time to do it. But Alex, I will tell you, uh, it is uh, getting biting. Matt, uh, our sound tech behind the, behind, the, behind the scenes there, Matt was telling, and he's exactly right. It is described as getting biting out here because it's switching from snow. It rained there for a little bit. Now we've got this frozen, like sleety kind of precipitation coming down, and it's windy. It, it actually is turning into a little bit of a bitter evening. Alex, into you. Mm, yeah, no fun oh, when you start to see that serious? switch over. Oh, there you go, Justin. Don't let him get you. Don't let That's him get you. I felt that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Where are they? <laughs> Justin's prepared. He's All gathering right, Alex, his snowball. He's ready to go. <laughs> right. I need I'll be there. I'll, I'll hop on the next fight. <laughs> Give me a bit. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Justin's just he. Now it's one against like 50. Justin, you got to get out of there now. All right, let's yeah. talk about what's going on with this uh, snow and the dangers it does have because for travelers, it could be a problem. In fact, first responders as well. This was in Henrico County, Virginia, where a fire truck spun out of control and overturned. This was in route uh, to a call. All four firefighters were able to get out of the truck by themselves, and they were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. So glad that they're okay uh, in terms of uh, nothing uh, life-threatening, but just shows you the dangers that can be ahead when you're talking about traveling through these wintry conditions. Here's what we've got. The shield of precipitation that stretches from parts of the Midwest and in towards the East Coast. Solid shield of snow that we're seeing across a good chunk of Maryland into now Delaware, Jersey. Good chunk of Pennsylvania in there as well as we get a little bit closer here to Allentown. Fully snow there up towards the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. In fact, we got a camera showing you what's going on in that zone uh, where winds are right around northeast at three miles per hour. But we've been reporting some snow at times. It's been heavy visibility down to about a half a mile. So, yeah, really tough travel conditions. Notice here, and this is sort of a live picture of things, you aren't seeing too many vehicles on the roads. Every now and then you see one or two passing on by, but not a lot of folks are out and about. And hopefully it stays that way. You don't want to be out in this mess. As far as airports are concerned, looking, that's pretty, pretty good across the Midwest. The exception, and that's been the case basically all day long, around Chicago. Both Midway uh, and O'Hare had ground stops earlier today. Right now, O'Hare, visibility, two miles. Airport delays just under three hours. So that's a tough airport to try to get in and out of here today. Right now, things are quiet here in the east. Even the hubs around D.C., New York City, all is well now. But... We think that will change heading into tomorrow. A lot more red showing up here for these hubs. High impacts to these airports. So it's definitely going to be a day to make sure you're checking with the airlines before getting out to the airports because there's certainly going to be some delays in those locations. And, of course, roadway travels as well. Really want to avoid this. Not only will we be talking about the snow coming down, but the wind whipping some of that snow around as well. And so getting and traveling through that mess not recommended at all. In fact, George, you got a bit more on what we can experience when it comes to those winds, especially along the coast. Yeah, and I'm just hopeful that we had enough uh, warning with this system that a lot of people made uh, plans to make sure they could just stay off the roads. Here's a look at East Hampton, New York. Still looking quite beautiful and nice out there. Trying to get you out to enjoy the out there this evening. By the time we head into the overnight, that's going to be completely different. You're going to have the snow start in. You're going to then see the wind or feel the wind pick up and then we could be talking about potentially flood situations right there along the coast in fact warnings and watches are currently up for that but just showing you the progression of this as it moves off into the Atlantic. We're going to actually see the storm strengthen a little bit. Isobars tightly wound, which means we got a wind issue. We, since it is such a slow mover, we got three high tide cycles to go through, which is why we could see some flood situation or flood damage out of this. Here's a look at the wind threat, though. This will start as early as overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. All day tomorrow, the wind should be picking up, especially for those areas around Providence and up into Boston and north from there up into Maine. But uh, even Boston Harbor going to get into some of this action. So wind speeds, gusts, four. 40, 50 plus miles per hour. Here are your coastal advisories and warnings. Coastal flood warning right now, all the way up into Long Island. You go down to the Jersey Shore, continuing down south along some of the other uh, deltas here. But just focusing in on um, on the Boston Harbor for a second, you are under a coastal flood watch. So know that that could be an issue, a flood issue for many locations. Um, this is going to be a, a story that we talk about all the way through Tuesday and even into Wednesday before the system moves off. But if you're on the eastern seaboard, it is just now getting going and uh, our coverage of course continues. Uh, we will take a short break and then we'll be right back. Being a good father is important to me. So being diagnosed with advanced non-small cell lung cancer made me think of all the things that I wanted to teach my kids. My doctor said I could start on Contruda, so I did. With uh, each scan, 
things just got better. In a clinical study, Keytruda offered patients a longer life than chemotherapy, and it could be your first treatment. For non-small cell lung cancer that has spread, Keytruda can be used for adults who test positive for pd one and whose tumors do not have an abnormal EGFR or ELK gene. Keytruda is not chemotherapy. It's the immunotherapy used to treat more patients with advanced lung cancer than any other. Keytruda helps your immune system fight cancer, but can also cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body. This can happen during or after treatment and may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have new or worse cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, nausea or vomiting, rapid heartbeat, increased hunger or thirst, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in urine or eyesight, muscle pain or weakness, joint pain, confusion or memory problems, fever, rash, itching or flushing. These are not all the possible side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems. If you've had an organ transplant, had or plan to have a stem cell transplant, or have lung, breathing, or liver problems. Before I think of the stuff I might miss, but now with Keytruda, we have hope. Living longer is possible. It's true, Keytruda from Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. Ordinary tissues burn when Theo blows. So dad bought Puffs Plus lotion and rescued his nose. With up to 50% more lotion, Puffs brings soothing softness and relief. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. Introducing Volterran Arthritis Pain Gel, the first full prescription strength non-steroidal anti-inflammatory gel available over the counter. Volterran is powerful arthritis pain relief in a gel. Volterran, the joy of movement. Don't you tell me that I'm crazy. Don't you say that I'm losing my mind. I'm in love, love, love. Celebrate your love with a gift from Pandora Jewelry and discover all the ways to shop. Get this, I have my Stouffer's bowl fulls and a fried chicken mashed potato fork full for which I'm thankful. Mm. Good thing, because we have a freezer full. I think that's wonderful. Oh! <laughs> this is the Jones family. We have a good deal on our wireless plan. Are you sure? Spectrum Mobile can do better. How many lines do you have? Four. And how much data do you use? Graham and I email and text, but these two share and stream tons of videos. And how much are you paying per month? Don't forget those added taxes and fees and surcharges. Oh, then $220. Spectrum Mobile lets you customize your plans. You and Grandma can be in our Buy the Gig plan with shareable data, and your wife and daughter can be in our unlimited data plan. Offer $118 per month with no taxes and fees. Spectrum Mobile has the best data plans for your family. All plans include unlimited talk and text with no contracts. See, I proved you could save within minutes. Now it's your turn. Grab your bill and see how much you can save. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash YouSave to calculate your savings in three easy steps. Or call us at 1-833-295-7283 and we'll do it for you. A winter storm warning is in effect. Currently in our area, 25 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, windy with snow, low 27. Snow accumulating three to five inches. Monday, snow along with gusty winds at times, high 36. Here's our seven day outlook.
Thank you for staying with us for what's turning into a blustery evening in our nation's capital. I'm Justin Michaels, live in front of the National Cathedral tonight, where people are basically uh, leaving their mark in the form of snowmen. As Orlina continues to come through the area, uh, you can see people are getting pretty creative. Those little guys over there are working hard on their rendition. This one might come on around here. This one actually has a nose, has eyes, has a smiley face, even some hair made out of leaves. Very creative. And then, of course, we have our COVID safe uh, version over here with some money eyes, almost like back in <laughs> back in the 1800s. And they used to put money on eyes. But, uh, you know, uh, but take a look. Uh, COVID safe. COVID safe. How nice is that guy? And in fact, we saw the artists behind this. And hey, lucky for me, Jordan, they named this guy. Uh, is there any resemblance? They named this guy Justin. Any resemblance at all? Maybe I put my mask on. Yeah, put your mask on. We got to see know. what. What do you think? Yeah, okay. What do you think? What do you, what do you yeah, think? If you had uh, nickels for eyes or quarters for eyes, I'd say right on the number, man. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, very good. Good it, job, Justin. Good job to everybody, <laughs> to too, who's been getting outside, not letting the snow keep you in. I know it's going to be tough to travel, which we're trying to keep people safe by not getting you out on the roads with your vehicles. But if you can get out, like Justin's been showing, and just go out and play with the snow, I think that would be a lot of fun. Thank you yes, so much for those definitely, updates. Yeah, in fact, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at radar right now. As you can see, we still got some snow happening in the Midwest, too. Justin's in D.C., but look, we still got snow all the way closer to Peoria, Milwaukee. You're seeing temperatures in Chicago sitting right around 32. Indianapolis, you've got some snowfall. Cincinnati could see the rain transition back over to snow. This energy is moving east. It's a turtle, though. It's going to slowly take its time. We could maybe pick up an additional one to three inches. There are some spots that can maybe pick up as much as three to five, especially in uh, any of those areas that are somewhat elevated, like the Appalachians could uh, see some of the bullseyes. But the bigger totals are going to be farther to the north and east. But what I'm saying is we're not done yet, even though we're focusing a lot of our attention where this uh, where big travel problems could be along the I-95 corridor. You could still see travel problems in Columbus, Charleston. You could wake up with some snow, Lexington, Virginia. I know Indianapolis has been seeing a mix of rain and snow, but you still have some snow out the door. So just be careful on the roads. Nashville, I haven't thrown that out too much, but you could maybe pick up an inch out of this. Um, so again, be careful. I know that we are cold enough to see some snow. The question is, is it going to cause any problems on the road? I don't necessarily think so in the Nashville area. You'll have to make sure you wake up and tune in to see how the uh, storm has developed through the overnight hours. But um, it should move out of your neck of the woods rather quickly. It is going to get hung up in other areas like Cleveland. It might not be a moderate to heavy snow, but it could be a light to moderate snow for several hours in Cleveland and Columbus, which is why our totals will be a little bit higher, maybe three, four plus inches. So your timing, as you can see uh, tonight, overnight into your Monday, and Alex, we've been talking a lot about how this thing will just kind of linger all day tomorrow and then eventually push out sometime on Tuesday. Yeah, you said it, lingering. That's the key here, and that's going to be the case for everyone. Now, it certainly was impacting us across Illinois. In fact, crushing parts of Illinois. Some of the video from Vernon Hills. That's about 40 minutes north and west of Chicago here. But yeah, the snow was coming down. The wind was whipping around as well. You can see the roads are covered in that snow. You don't want to be trying to travel through that. Unfortunately, it looks like the plows were getting out to try to get things uh uh, going there for folks, but a good 10 and a half inches around Chicagoland from this system. All right, now we'll see a transition to move east and bring us the snow in these areas here. We'll see as we work our way on through Tuesday again. Through Tuesday, we're still going to be dealing with this. There's the low that'll be working its way up the coast. Strong winds will be associated with it as well. And with the snow around, that could set the stage for blizzard conditions. In fact, you can see uh, what the criteria is for a blizzard to be met. You got to have those winds that are at least 35 miles per hour, sustained or frequent gusts, visibility that gets reduced to a quarter of a mile or less. And those conditions have to be met for at least three hours. If it does not happen for those three hours in a row, well, guess what? Technically, you don't have a blizzard. So we'll see if that happens. Certainly a possibility of Jordan in a few locations. Yeah, and just to the south from where we're seeing all the snow, we do have some rainfall. We're watching that closely as some little showers spread uh, from the, the south like Atlanta into places like Florida where we could get hit pretty good with potentially some severe storms. So here's a look. We could continue to see some scattered showers around the Atlanta area overnight tonight. Uh, the bulk of the energy is to the south and to the east. Um, 
But once it moves into the big bend of Florida, that's when we're talking about maybe seeing some uh, wind damage out of this. That storm or that uh, line of storms that'll be pushing through overnight tonight and into tomorrow could really pack a punch. Just looking at all that energy from Gainesville, Jacksonville overnight tonight, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, Tampa, Orlando, Melbourne, 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, then Naples and Miami late morning and into midday, and then it's out of here with some scattered showers behind it. So that'll be the big story for you folks in Florida as we head into tomorrow. All right, that is it for for us, but I want you to stay with us because our live around the clock special team coverage continues in just minutes. We've got meteorologist Alex Wilson and uh, storm specialist Mark Elliott. They're going to track the storm, and we got a team all up and down the eastern seaboard that we're going to check in with as the storm develops overnight, tonight, and tomorrow. We'll be right back.